Just known as the Kanye, huh? Yeah, it was. I mean, clean your screen, man. <laughs> clean your screen. Look at this. It's, it's going to open it up. Nah, but just wipe it down. This is. Yeah. This is disgusting. It is, yo. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's just the a, a big smudge. It looks like when you look into a car that's dirty, like. <laughs> the smudge print. What's happening? How we doing? How are you? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Ooh, girl, yeah, you know what's up. You know what I mean. Ooh, what's up? What's up? What's up? I almost wore jeans for y'all today. No, I was. I came so close. And then I said, you know what? So I almost wore jeans for them today. And I said, you know what? Put these sweats on. Why? Why what? You don't like wearing jeans? No, I was like, I'm a. I gotta start. Uh, now I gotta start going back outside. I gotta start like you know trying. Caring nice. about yeah. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, oh, I'm gonna wear jeans. Just just let me just start getting used to it now. And then I was like, I ain't gonna do it on the podcast. Are you about to get back out and doing? Uh, yeah, I just, got, I just gotta yeah, I just gotta get out. You know, just be out again. Yeah. And I was like, uh, you know what I hate about? <clears throat> What's up, Lady B? What's uh, up? DW's 85. What's happening? Oh boy, that is empty. That is ah. doesn't get more empty than that. Well, you gotta make sure, you know. Because yeah. by the time I get back to it again, it's gonna be crusty. Oh, that's true. You can put that hot water now. You're gonna wait, you're gonna wait a whole hour and a half and stuff. Gotcha, man. I'm committed. <laughs> you know, that's what it's all about. That's how it be all gross. You be trying to scrub it out, yeah. shit be growing on there. Is that mold or is that old? Nope, definitely mold. What's up, Jasmine Patron? Yeah. Hey, that's her. Uh, that's JP. JPZ. Is that who I just, just talked talk to? Her. Yeah. Oh, just what's up, Jazz? Is it Patron? Patron. Or is it Patron? And the Espanol is Patron, which is like boss or something like that. See, si Patron. Or oh, Patrona. The boss bitch. What's up, Lashanda? LaFanda, LaShonda. Can you name all the girls that DMX said? That was two different songs, dude. Oh, yeah, I did that. Do you like that day? <laughs> That's right. That was the yeah. LaShonda. Who's that? PD Pablo? Who's that? Yeah. No. Monique. Freaky Link! Monique. I think that was PD Pablo. Why do you sound so much like Mystico? Um... Yeah, uh, what's his name? Uh, now I'm trying to get the DMX one. It was it was Keisha, Alicia, <laughs> Pam, Pam, Michelle. About three girls, I remember. Yeah, can't go wrong with that. I can't name none the thing of them. is, it's such an easy thing to do. What? It's not the rhyme the names. Yeah, but it was clever in there. It's not clever. It was how he was doing this whole thing. Was that the song with Cisco? All you gotta do is find the rhymes, but you can say any other name. It was like it was Chaz, Dion, DC, Keon, <laughs> Tony. It's, but it's, just because it's simple doesn't mean it's not clever, nigga. Because in the whole rhyme, he's just like by the name of all these chicks, and then if you're a girl whose name is it, you're gonna be like, ah, that's right. It works on so many levels. There's so many names that rhyme, but it doesn't. Charlene, it doesn't. People Marlene. rhyme. People rhyme with basic words all the time. See, so so why are you calling it clever? Because the way he put it in his in his in the song is clever. We were all like saying the names. We were all singing it. But you don't know the names. I mean, not now. It's not. This is 30, 20 years ago. Nigga, but you still know Mike Jones's number, don't you? I don't. <laughs> that was one song I never listened to. I was no, like, you know, it's wild. It's in the song is back then they didn't want me. Now I'm hot. They all want me. Now we're back to not knowing you. No one wants you, brother. Where, where, where do you work at? Now? I never thought he was talented, bro. I didn't understand. I was like, Paul Wall killing him. And I thought Commander was killing them both. Yeah. I never thought they were yeah. that great. Yeah. I don't even know how he got on. I mean, when that whole Houston thing hit, it was crazy. Because, like, yeah. Little Flip was around, but he yeah. wasn't huge yet. But once right. Houston, like, that doors kicked in and everybody was from Houston all of a sudden. Yeah. They had a, they had like that big, remember when the, like Atlanta all of a sudden was like the hot spot for music? Yeah. Before it was like, it was outcast, you know, like right. Jimmy Dupree. And then it was like everybody in Atlanta. Yeah. And then Houston dropped and it was like everybody from Houston. Mm -hmm. 
And you know, like the cats have been around, like ghetto boys have been around, but it wasn't like Scarface. Yeah, but it wasn't like that kaboom. Uh, Bun B. Yeah, but when Houston hit, it was yeah, you got tight on the top. Yeah, the, the, the ball yeah. thing on top. Which ball thing? The big ball on the other side. This one? Yep. And then tighten it up. I think it's tight already. What up, Chaz? I know you're excited. The Bears got rid of Fields the way he was a problem from Detroit. Nobody care about Fields. <laughs> Nobody cared about Fields. We like Fields. Like, go ahead. That's a, we're gonna beat that team. I mm -hmm. wish he was still in the, still over there. I'm worried about Fields. Mm -hmm. He wasn't no. Uh, I'm more worried about the kid from the Packers. Love Jordan. Loves the real deal. Mm -hmm. Justin Fields is getting a, a, a second chance, which is yeah, good for him. And that's a hit. But worried about Justin Fields. Justin Fields can't even read a defense. Yeah. <laughs> So, so Justin Fields is with – he was with the Bears, right? He's with the Panthers now? Where'd he go? I thought he was with the Bears, right? He was. So wh why is it a threat? He was going to go with Detroit? No, he was talking about playing against them. He got traded to – where did he go? Where did Justin Fields go? He's on a different team now. Damn. I didn't I – don't, I don't – you know what I hate about football? Dallas? No. Where'd he go? I hate about – I hate trades. If it's not loud enough, I don't even know. I, I'd be pissed. Next I mean, year, I'm like, what? What? <laughs> What ha what happened to Von Miller? I thought he was still <laughs> I thought he was with the Rams. <laughs> I'm like, yo, what happened? I'm like, I got look. I'm like, yo, what did this happen? Oh man, you where happened to Odell Beckham? I thought he was with the Rams. It's like they traded him too. They came in for one year, won a won a ring, and then left. Did, yep. Von Miller's a problem, man. He he wins on every team he goes. He was with the Bills, but he, he's old. He's just getting injured too much. Man. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, That's my twin. Von Miller, I can yeah. see that. Yeah. He comes in and wrecks shop. Right. You could have been a Von Miller. I could have. You know? If I did what? Just practice more. <laughs> Train a little more. You know, you know was God, I'm not doing this. His his off off the off the field life is, is very dark. His? Yeah. Why do you say that? He had a long term, long term, beautiful girl. And he killed her? No. no. Oh. He murdered her. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Um, you know, you 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 see girls on the on Instagram, you be like, who was this? Mm -hmm. And you click on her page and you be like, Oh, this is Von Miller's girl? Mm -hmm. Wow. And he was like, Well, it's gonna stay away from that. And then it pops up again, like Von Miller of so and so so and so was accused of yeah. like. Hey baby, how you doing? Do you got no. a DM her? <laughs> I see what you're going through, boy. <laughs> I got a cheap replica version of your last boyfriend. I wish uh I wish you could DM in my tone and I wanna like I could text yeah. in my tone. Hey, what's up, girl? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She can feel the right, you know. I'm just thinking this is a voice note. Everything is going well. But I don't want to do it, I want to do the text. Mm -hmm. And she reads it like, oh my god, this is um. No, when I, I met Deontay, Deontay Wilder's wife, she came and did a, uh, an episode of the show. And we were like, man, who is this? Yeah. And then we found out it was Deontay yeah, Wilder. Yeah, they ain't yeah. talked to her at all for the rest of the day. <laughs> but nobody else spoke to her. Yeah. He said, hey, hey. Don't to this day! <laughs> don't you look at me. To this day, I don't talk to her. So you can't get, get some water? <laughs> oh, you, you thirsty? We're so sorry. Tell Deontay we are sorry. It's too hot, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. And then we saw him get knocked out by Tyson Fury. Yeah, and I was like, this bitch. Yeah. Take his girl right now. Man, it hurts. It hurts to see somebody that you believe in get knocked out. You know what's funny about that whole thing, too, is that he probably should have won that first fight. Had he won that first fight, it wouldn't just wouldn't even be a thing mm -hmm. with Tyson Fury. Because he should have knocked him out. Yeah. And you wouldn't even hear from Tyson Fury again. Mm -hmm. And then that second one, he was way too overconfident. He got beat in like two rounds or whatever it was. Yeah. The third one, he went out with like a word. Oh, he fought three times? They fought three times. Also in that third fight, Deontay Wilder knocked Tyson Fury down twice in the fourth round. Wow. So you were also like, it could have been over again. Yeah. But kudos to Tyson Fury, bro. He gets up. Yeah. He gets up. Because the African dude knocked him down too, right? Yeah. Francis Nagongo. But he lost at the end, right? Yeah. But, you know. The Tyson Fury got a chin, bro. Somehow he gets up. Yeah. And what if that's your talent? I'm not a good fighter. I'm just I can just, just take, I can take. just take it. 
He's a good boxer though, but he, I mean, you're gonna you're gonna catch shots. Mm-hmm. I remember watching uh Javante Davis against Ryan Garcia, and that was like this really big, you know, fight. And Ryan Garcia knocked some good shots from Javante Davis, but just a chin. I remember Mayweather got hit by Sugar Shane Mosley mm-hmm. and his knees buckled. That chin, so, you're gonna get caught. So, so uh Mayweather never fell. He never got knocked out. I don't think there's there's like a couple times he stumbled. Like you see him falling back, but he hasn't fall. No. Um, but I don't think he's ever been knocked down officially. Because so this is your best defense. But as soon as you do like this, that's when you're more vulnerable when you're about to swing. <laughs> well, <laughs> if you swing with your face out, I mean, because you gotta you but you gotta, gotta stay tight. Because you, you can do jazz, yeah. You try to do like a power punch of like like this. You gotta move your body. You see what I'm saying? Like this, you can't be like. Yeah, you can. And people do no, it. No, man, you, got, you gotta, you gotta. People have, do it all the time. There's a lot of this. That's a, yeah. that's a. This is always. But happening. also, do that again. All oh, this is open now. Well, you gotta move. <laughs> you see the elbow still tucked. You gotta be like. Hey. So, so the funny thing is about boxing. As soon as you throw a punch, you're vulnerable. Something somewhere. is gonna be open. Something is vulnerable. Something's open. That's why UFC is crazy because it's like I gotta guard my calf. Yeah. <laughs> How do yeah. I guard my calf? Yeah. You gotta check kicks. You're like, oh, man, this is yeah. a lot. You gotta watch from my head to my toe. Yeah, that's a lot, bro. They should bring bite then too. Yeah, they, yeah. I think that you could headbutt early on in there. It was like a girl. <laughs> a headbutt would be crazy, bro, in a UFC battle. Oh, girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I love that that they are trying to protect you as as a as a fighter. There's like no beating in the back of the head because that is mm-hmm. you know, called head trauma. Yeah, and there's also you can't. Uh, there was there was a dude uh, like a week ago who was in a headlock, but he was biting the guys. Uh, no, I saw that. He had a big old bite mark. <laughs> what? He said, what? What? He thought, I was like, where's, he your, thought, where's your mouthpiece? <laughs> he thought he was safe. He like, yo. He said, I didn't do nothing. It was a big ass. <laughs> big old dog bite. <laughs> I didn't do nothing. What? Proof. Check me for rabies, Caught bro. in 4K. <laughs> That's yeah. nuts. What are you talking about? This uh, I, ho- I hate that you guys tear up your bodies playing sports for cash. I wish I could. I played, tore my body up playing for free. <laughs> I didn't get paid nothing. <laughs> nothing. So, Twilla, I apologize for talking crazy in the comments, but over here, but over here, I can do it. No part necessary. Love y'all. What answers does that talk about, man? Maybe uh, in our in our podcast, I mean, Quills did. She was going crazy. And this is that was? I don't remember. I think she's just being silly. What up, y'all? It's the lack. What is true that lack got daddy issues banned for a week? Is it true? No, we came back. What? Oh, we did oh. take a week off, but it wasn't. Oh, that's that. so funny. What'd you do? No. It's, remember, I did an episode and then. Yeah. You, did why you, did you, you want to tell them why you're not? What? I mean, don't put that on me. I mean, why I took a week off. He said daddy issues. Right. Cause y'all didn't y'all didn't do that issue the week I did it. Yeah, I was gone. Was nothing to do with right. me. What'd you do? What do you mean? I was gone. I, I wasn't even here. I asked you to come again, and they were like, you know what? Just shut this whole bitch down. No. <laughs> Precious and Nanganu just got murdered by Anthony Joshua. Yeah, yeah, he did. Oh, this is a real thing. Yeah. Uh, oh, you talking about a fight? I thought you were like murdered. Oh no, not murdered, murdered, but like yeah, he got beat up. Yeah, it was bad. It looked like he'd never belong in a boxing ring. He, also, he had Tyson the first time in his corner. He was training with Tyson, and he didn't for this Joshua fight. And I wonder why. Fury or Mike? He Mike Tyson trained in Ganu against Tyson Fury. Oh. That first fight, which is why he looked great. But he didn't train with him against Anthony Joshua. And oh. he looked he looked like he didn't belong in there yeah. at all. And I wonder why he didn't train with him again. Yeah. Maybe Mike cost too much money. It had to be worth it. Sure, yeah. He looked great. Right. You think training is important? Not, not, not like that, but as in the person you're training. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. A thousand, I think it's the most important thing. Yeah? Yeah, I think that's why a lot of guys don't make it to that next level. Mm-hmm. It's like... Bad trainers? I want to say they're bad because there's guys out there who are like really good trainers and they have good camps. But there's also like, you know, when uh, Freddie Roach got really big because he had Pacquiao. Mm-hmm. And it was just like, this guy's training in a way we never thought. Floyd Mayweather Jr., right? I mean, senior. This is a junior. Floyd Mayweather is the junior. His father fought. Okay. And then uh, 
his father and his uncle were fighters and you know he got to train under them mm -hmm. and then it's like there's a camp right just like mm -hmm. you get your guys same with i forgot um what's uh his train um who's the kid canelo i forgot his camp but uh his trainer also like you're just like there's people who come out of these camps and you go like all oh, these guys are great mm -hmm. you know and then but man like yeah that makes a huge difference for you that's why they're so important those guys mm -hmm. are so important yeah Okay. And and they help you strategize. Mm -hmm. And it's a guy he does this, you know. You gotta stay disciplined, stay here. Yeah. You know, you gotta do a lot of those things. But yeah, I I I never wanted to invest in boxing. I wish I could just throw the punches. I don't want to get punched back. Because it's not like a it's not like I'm gonna invest my I'm gonna invest my my life savings into this 2024 Lincoln Continental. Mm -hmm. And it's like, and if it Breaks down, I just get another one. I was like, no, this body is yours. This is it. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to drive it all over L.A. and, and flourish. And like, you know, there's a chance that people can hit you and will. Yeah. As much as you driving around, you, you're you going to get hit. What do, you, what do you mean? Just either protect yourself by staying home. You're, yo, if you're boxing, you're going to get smacked up. Yeah. It's going to happen. It has to happen. Yeah. I seen guys, man, that time it was Canelo versus uh, Triple G. You ever hear those fights? Mm -hmm. The trilogy they had? Those guys, well, the last fight wasn't that great, but those first two, they were taking shots and they were just like shaking them off at each other. I was like, ain't no way you yeah. didn't feel that. Yeah. They were taking clean hits, Brain. dude. Both of them. And I said, ain't no way. Either one of those hits would have knocked out anybody. Right. Brain hits. And they were just like. Knocking your brain around. Nope. You're seeing doing that looks so like. Oh, for sure. Yeah. You seen it? I don't know if you seen it, but it was a guy. They were open hand boxing, uh -huh. and dude, not the slap fights, not those. No, okay. But dude's eyes, nose, mouth, everything was bleeding. I was like, mm -hmm. it wasn't boxing. I was just like, wait a minute. You ha this has to be long term. This hat. There's no way you're gonna bounce back. I'm surprised George Foreman is not mentally ill. No, he's pretty good. He, he sounds he a little slower, but he's also old. Time. Yeah, he fought Muhammad Ali, right? Who? Muhammad Ali? Oh yeah, yeah. That's a long time. <laughs> That's a long time. Like rubble in the jungle, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like you got, it's no long. He must have been protecting his head like crazy, or they just were hitting hard enough. They were hitting hard, yeah. But even he, there was a there was a video of him fighting Evander Holyfield. And he's just taking shots in the head. He's not even putting yeah. his arms up. He's like, mm -hmm. yeah. Like, hey, man, protect your face. Yeah. That's wild. Oh, some of these dudes, their heads are. What if I hit your forearm so hard it hit your face? My forearm? <laughs> like, can you try to block it up? I'll punch that shit, too. <laughs> I'm going to make you hit yourself. These, no, man. These guys are crazy fast in the power. Mm -hmm. I want to imagine getting in a fight with a boxer. I'm like, nah, man. Yeah. So, what's your daughter doing different, Chaz? As far as what? What do you mean? This is it. As far as what? Uh, Foreman ant take too many death what death blows? Ain't take ain't take too many death blows. Yeah, I can touch some shots. Especially he came back to boxing and he was yeah. older and he took mm -hmm. some shots. And then he sold Foreman grills. Yeah, which is nothing but a panini maker. Right. That's right. all that was. Right, makes great paninis. Yeah. But yeah, hey man, they did, robbed, did they robbed a ton of people, huh? They, they robbed a ton. The grease fats goes right yeah. down. You yeah. never eat no grease. It was just yeah, it just, it just do nothing. All your burgers are dry. Right, right. <laughs> Wait, I need to add more. Save the greasy pour back on. <laughs> uh, did you did you watch the movie of Foreman? Uh uh You heard about the movie? No, I know you had a movie. Yeah. It was it was just I didn't see it. Oh, okay, I, I didn't even want to. I didn't know you had a movie about him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. It's a movie about him. They must have found a big southern guy and be in there. Uh he's a normal I've seen him before as an actor. He's I think it's on Prime. Um yeah, it was it just wasn't a, a movie I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna invest in that movie. Oh, okay. No, Is there any uh heroes of our childhood that you would like to see a biopic of? I don't know how interesting it would be. I'd be interested. Barry Sanders, mm -hmm. King Griffey Jr. Come on, man. Do they have stories? You, I mean, you gonna force stories? Like, I I'm interested. As, you said you just asked me, are there anybody from my childhood or hero that I want to see? Right. I just told you to. Sure, but what I'm saying is you, you ever heard people like, dude, that dude had a story. He had a life. Muggsy Bogues. He had a story. He's five foot three, he made it in the NBA. Yeah. 
That sounds like it'd be a lot of overcoming adversity. Yeah, right. Um, Little biopic movie. Yeah. Uh, I don't care if you're doing with his dad and they're both playing the MLB together. That's got to be crazy. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. At the same time? Mm hmm. Yeah, same team. Really? Hit a home run, same game. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. How many years apart are they? They got to be 20 something. You know what? Honestly, this sounds bad. If you can pack a punch with a with a home, like with swinging the bat, you can go 70 years old. In what? And baseball. <laughs> Come on, man. I'll, if I'm just hitting home runs, seventies crazy. <laughs> did you see the dude that that Keon posted about the dude that can jump on like he can jump like seven feet, mm -mm. and he's seventy years old. Mm -mm. He's like, I'm still in shape. But I'm, what I'm saying is, if you keep your body in shape, all I'm, all I'm, and I'm, all I'm doing, and I can just kind of jog around. What's wrong with that? It's not happening at seventy. I don't care who you are. You're not playing the major league baseball. 70. 70? What's the what's the max you'll say? There might have been a guy who played to they were like 50. I want to say nah, maybe. I watch this though. Watch this. Okay, Google. Who's the oldest player in the MLB? Justin Verlander. On the website MLB.com, they say. Justin Verlander, R.H. Justin Verlander, according to MLB.com, with the retirements of Nelson Cruz and Adam Wainwright, it's Verlander who will stand as the oldest active MLB player. It is, to say the least, rather impressive than Verlander, despite that label. They said age. Why is she so talking? Most recent side. Did, did she say the age? I don't think so. God, I, I want to say, like, the oldest player has been, like, Satchel Paige, Nolan Ryan. Cy Young, there's probably somebody else who are like that, but Justin Verlander is currently, he's currently probably the oldest. Okay, player. let me see. Oldest, yeah, sure as hell ain't 70. I mean, why not? If I all I gotta do is swing, there's 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 golfers, all they do is swing, they're not running. If I can just if I have the accuracy of a home, like to, to hit home runs, I kind of feel like. You think there's a seventy year old hitting ninety Why you keep fastball? Harping on seventy. That's what you say. Well, what do you mean? Sure. Listen, what I'm saying is you can go pretty old for a pretty long time. Seventy is senior uh, citizen. <laughs> there's a whole parking spot yes. and a menu dedicated to you. Yes, but at the same time, there's golfers, right? Sure. They're not on the PGA. They they're winning. All they're doing is swinging. What are you talking about? What do you think the oldest golfers golf to win a major? You're talking about – you said the major league baseball. You're talking about professional sports. Yes. They're not – so what I'm saying is – I'm not saying an outfielder, 70-year-old, doing that. Well, what I'm saying is if if I'm in shape and I can – This is going to be another horrible take from <laughs> Does anybody hear what I'm saying? No. Just look at it. Look, she said 70 can still – Kill you is one thing. Yes. Hit a baseball is another. Why you make it like as soon as you get a certain age, your weak, your where's your my, accuracy. Where's my phone at? The accuracy of of seeing a ball, the strength of swinging. They're strong. There are strong uh, golfers. You have you ever found your phone? What the hell? Satchel Page came back after retirement. Played at fifty nine. Thank you, Zay Nova. Golfers are not that old. Give me the oldest golfer. Yeah, I said that's the oldest one. I probably think is Satchel Page. Oh God. Um, way down here. Yeah, find the oldest. And golfer. I bet you he was trash, Satchel Page. <laughs> he was like, you know what? I should have stayed retired. This is crazy. If I can see a ball, and that mug's gonna come like this. Shoot. You're gonna be like, did you throw it yet, young man? <laughs> Are you throwing it yet? Are you throwing it? It's breezy out here, isn't it? <laughs> somebody, somebody get out and bring Paul over here. Feel it. That's it's not out. happening. He's a call him, Dion. I appreciate you. Uh, mm -hmm. No, you said Satchel Page came back at 59. Let's see. Let's see who's the oldest baseball player. Baseball. Base, baseball player of all time. Yep, Satchel Page. I call that, by the way. I said Satchel Page, right? You all yep. heard me. Call who? And this is it. Two times to say call me. Oh. Uh, years after his major career ended. Made a major league appearance. What does that mean? Made a major league appearance 12 years after. 
Look at this nigga. <laughs> My man did it occur to you. Look, this dude is 70 years old. You try to tell me he can't he No, can't. he can't sign the no team. He can't do anything. It's not even about signing. If he stayed in the league, he was that great. No, he's in that shape. Why can't he hit a home run? We're talking about a box jump compared to hitting a baseball 400 why are feet. You, why are you nitpicking on if he has if he has the uh the wherewithal to like you know what I want to only exclusively focus my attention on hitting a ball versus doing box jumps. And it's like, dude, let, let this man have this sort of dream. Let's 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 recount. If we're talking about a pitcher machine at some kind of uh, batting cage, sure. If we're talking about Major League Baseball, no. No. He is not going to go off and hit a 90-mile-per-hour fastball 400 feet. It's not happening. It's not happening. It's not. That 70-year-old man is not hitting 400 feet. It's not happening. Black is not. You just don't have faith. No, I do not. How old was Bernie Mac and Mr. 3000? <laughs> Probably 40. Uh, kids always doing stuff. Oh, 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 what's she doing different? What's she doing different? Nothing. She's just in, my kids in gymnastics. That's it. Uh, we've been starting boxing with her. That's all. I'm sick of these Dion, these damn commercials. What commercials? We got commercials on right now. Oh, yeah. You know that Michael Jackson uh, biopic coming out next year. Oh yeah, with his nephew. That should be good. Hopefully, they're gonna lie about something. Seventy. Come on, man. I know. I try to help him out, man. She said a whole bunch of nothing. Oh, I know. Siri was just like she had no one else to talk to all day. <laughs> who who was you. it? It was Alexa. Yeah. Alexa was acting like, oh my god, it's been so long. No one ever right. talks to me anymore. Such a way. I said Alexa, man. Um, Touch a pain, golf. Okay. Who is this? It's him and his son, yo. You do fit. Look at this, man. Seventy. Look at this. You mean to tell me he can't? He can't hit a ball? Sure. In a oh rec gosh, league dude. somewhere, <clears throat> he's not hitting off. I bet you, you put him against Justin Verlander. He's not hitting his hundred mile power fastball. I bet you that. Bet you that. Uh, his heart may explode. <laughs> The, but he can he can start. But the fact that the two thousand two golfer Jay Hass made the PGA cut at sixty eight. So you got it. But that was a record that took forty years to break. Making the cut is one thing. Thank you, JJ Smith. Making the cut. What place did he did he did he finish in? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Let's we'll see if he even made it past the first. He's like, you know what? Eighteen holes is a long walk. My back, it hurts. This dude is in the Olympics, yo. Who? Look at this dude. Who's in the Olympics? Him. That's not the Olympics. I'm, I mean, not the Olympics, but he's he's being silly. I um, bet he's doing track and field in his own age group. Sure. But well, that's different Olympics, than going though. against twenty year olds. Yeah, I mean, of course, man. Your body's going to answer differently. Neck is wild. What's up, Twills? I'm trying to help your guy, Twilla. This this cat Dion thinks seventy year old guy can hang on to Major League Baseball. It's not happening. It's not happening. The way we got here. It wasn't even that hard how we got here. It it's, wasn't listen, some long walk. Listen, listen. You took a leap and said, look at this guy. He could play in professionals right now. Well, we got, we, we came from Ken Griffey Jr. and Ken Griffey Sr. Mm -hmm. They played in the same league, mm -hmm. same year. Mm -hmm. I'm not, yeah, same year, same time, same game, same team. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, dang, how old was he? I was like, well, now that's our kind of like thing about baseball. If you can actually just hit the ball, guarantee hit home runs, they will keep you on the team. That's what I'm saying. Something like I don't even really care how, care how old he is. I don't care how old anybody is. If you're great at just hitting the ball and it's not even about speed and trying to like run to the first base, I was like, I'm sure if they're like, he's still good enough, he's still getting those points. So then I said 70 because I just saw that video of Keon. Now, now, of course, I'm being silly, but at the same time, I'm like, there's a such thing as a strong 70-year-old man. Sure, there's strong 70-year-old men. None of them are professional baseball players, football players, basketball Why players. do you make it seem like baseball's hard? Yes. But if I am dedicating my last 10 years, I'm 60, dedicate my last year to figuring out how to hit this ball, 
Why do you make it like our brains go slower? Your body goes slower. Your body goes slower as you get older. You think that guy's going to be in the same mental space? This, this, this happens for a reason. People get old and retire in every sport for a reason. Their bodies cannot keep up. Otherwise, they would keep playing. They just cannot. Satchel Paige was a pitcher, by the way. Yeah. It's not like he had to stand in a batter's box like 68. Mm -hmm. And I still don't know what an appearance means. I don't know if it was one game or a whole season. Mm -hmm. What's an appearance? What an appearance? Hey, guys, what's mm -hmm. up? All right, I'm out of here. Yeah. No, it doesn't happen. So if I was a boxer at seven, no, I'm joking. <laughs> no, so if he was a pitcher, uh, you think could that, could that work? If I could just throw the ball? No, there's a reason why he didn't have a long career after it. He made an appearance. It was like, whoa, how dare you hit that ball for her? How dare you? Yeah, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. I'm, I'm out of here, guys. That's it. There's no way, bro. It is light years away from your 20s to your 70s. Golfers, though. What's the difference between golfing and swinging, a, swinging the ball? What's the difference between swinging a, hitting a golf ball? I know it's the sizes, but I'm saying that. But also, it's not moving at 100 miles per hour? But it's still accuracy, though. Sure, but it's in that one place. So you're focusing on – have you ever golfing before? I've only golfed once. And it's, it's about where you're going, the ball, keeping your eye on it, and it's a hard swing, yo. If that ball was moving, then I would be a better comparison. Yeah. You know how many home runs you'd have off a tee ball in baseball? It would be nuts. Everybody would be – he's got 800 home runs every time he swings. So that's that's the issue. It's probably it's actually speed. harder to hit a baseball off of a tee as a home run than because that speed that ball comes off that bat helps a lot. Yeah, yeah, that's a big deal. It, it usually it's supposed to go faster when you hit it than it was when you come into mm. it. So, but anywho, what am I? Semantics. Am I? Oh boy, hey everyone, what's up, Candace Muhammad? Look, answer this to apologize on the Twitter. Cool. I don't know what. So damn yeah, look at, at American Gladiator highlights. Love American Gladiator. Yeah. What would have been your American Gladiator sport? What would you be like? I'll run this. You can't. Don't come over here. What would, what would be my American Gladiator name? No, sport. Or oh, and name. But remember that like you had each one had like a special activity. Right. It's like you got to deal with Hawkeye on the cute. What are the cute tip things? Yeah, yeah. Um I First of all, it was mad dangerous. You, ever, you see that? that the document is great. The cast was roided up, dangerous. taking all kind of hurt yeah. Hit injuries. Yeah. Um, I would, at this age or as a child, because <laughs> I'm thinking like, I got to be safe at this age. No, no. What would your name be first? Oh, my, my name would be. Um, It gotta be dope, but also that I understand why. Mm. Uh, <laughs> what would yours be? Go ahead. You got nothing? Cause I'm trying to think like I wanted to be a pun off my name. Mm -hmm. Cause they had names that had nothing to connect to their actual name. Zap, laser, yeah. right, tower. Right, right, right. I was like, no, I want my name to be close. Thunder to Sky. <laughs> um mm -hmm. I might be Quiet Storm. It was one name, bro. Why they, can't I have they, two? They didn't have two names. They had do. They had. Why can't names. I do two? Why can't I be the one with two? Sure. Quiet storm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they never hear me coming, and then you know what I'm saying. Quiet storm. Maybe me grumble. Grumble. Um, I don't know. What's my name would be. Uh, it'd probably be something like um. Uh, Viper. Those, those that's 90s that's names that's are so one. cheesy, right? Viper. <laughs> I remember there was Lace. I think mm. Lace was the deaf yeah. one, I think. Deaf, yeah. Deaf, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know, man. I'd have been like, um, I'd have been like Bulldozer. That's yeah. a good one. Yeah. Bulldozer? Uh -huh. Or just Dozer? Yeah. Ooh, I'm going Dozer. Canine. Canine? I like that. You're going to be the dog? Canine. Yeah. <laughs> That's my thing. I don't think canine's a good one, canine bro. Teeth. But still, that's you're an animal now. You know what I mean? You're just a dog. So what? That'd be my that they they remember that. That'd be my little thing. They'd be like, <laughs> Here go canine. I would call you a chihuahua. It's also a canine. 
Not worry about you, little Chihuahua. Little, hey, little Chew Chew. And they and on my shirt says a K in the knot. No, no, I'm not a fan, man. I love it. I want something else. You can do better than K. You said bulldozer. Dozer. Dozer's solid. Yeah. Come on, man. Dozer. I'm big and strong. When come, when moving you, cats out the way. When you come out, what you gonna do? What is your thing? <gasps> you just did the same like thing. Bo- I just did. <laughs> no, but you did it. Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm moving people. <gasps> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Backing up, Beep. and then the announcer who had those little puns like bulldozer just got BS bullshit. <laughs> he just dozed him to sleep. Yeah, um, I like Wipeout. Wipeout's a fun game, it's a fun show. I know like the name, of course. When they would shoot tennis, I love the one where they shot tennis balls at you. <laughs> that mm-hmm. gun was dope. Imagine being the first baseball player to strike out on the team. <laughs> Burger. All right, who who is this? Who is Stewart? <laughs> Just be werewolf or Wolverine. Werewolf. Could you be? Oh, what did I do? I'm struggling yeah. with this mic today. Yeah, my mic sounds nice. Um. Yeah, buddy. Maybe maybe you could do something like. Can I just be muscles? Muscles. That's what you gotta have muscles. That's a lot of pressure on you. Well, hopefully, with all the steroids I'd have been doing, I had yeah. muscles. What was the one black girl name who was that guy? The one who was like she went and got married to like a, some sergeant or something like that. I remember the name. I see him, but I don't know any of their names. Okay. I know. What was the what was the big black dude's name? He was the one black dude. I know, and he stayed for the longest. Yeah. And yeah. Then it was Nitro. That's Nitro solid. That's a solid American gladiator name. Yeah. Nitro. Mm-hmm. Piston. Yeah, like dynamite. Hey, anything that's inside the car. Piston it sounds great. Or combustion. Oh, I'm like combustion. Converter. No. <laughs> Catalytic. <laughs> belt loop. <laughs> Timing belt. Oil change. The names. Does it get worse and worse? Exhaust pipe. <laughs> Spark plug. <laughs> Spedometer. <laughs> Cornbread. A racist stereotype gladiator. Was the black girl named Blaze? Oh, maybe it was Blaze. Just Blaze? Yeah, that's probably where he got his name from. Yeah. If he, her name should be Just Blake. My name should be Just Blake. Like, I don't like I don't like being called Gemini, that's right. That's right. Like, I, don't, I don't like being called uh you know fiery blaze. I think it should be called just blaze. Wait a second. No, that's not a good idea for you. It's a good idea for, for me. Uh Gemini's good. I couldn't use my uh astrolog. I can't be like, here's Libra. Why not? Why like, that's not. You don't want to be cancer, though. That's a, oh boy! Shout out to the cancers, man. That's a sucky, sucky zodiac sign. That man. is terrible. I'm a cancer. And imagine getting cancer with cancer. There's a lot of those out there. I'm sure. In the of season of cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, by the way. <laughs> the doctors gosh, gave him the news. Dude. Yeah. Well, it's cancer season, literally. Yeah. yeah gosh. Dude. That's what you got. Out of all names. How would you give somebody bad news? I, hold on, let's just stick here. Can we make a vote to change cancer zodiac sign? What does cancer mean? Let's get to the root of that. And why would they? I know obviously what came first, the actual cancer or the zodiac sign cancer? Let's see. Let's see. Why? Because let's see. Yeah. I, I don't know if cancer is new. I don't know if it's, it's cancer has been, has, has cancer always been here? Or I like how this came right up. Why is the zodiac sign called cancer? Right. <laughs> like it. Cancer entered English around 1350 to 1400 and is derived from the Latin word cancer. Crab. Oh. Cancer crab. From the Latin word cancer, which means crab. It's a Latin word for cancer's crab. The zodiac sign was named after a crab from the mythological story about Hercules. To summarize, Hercules killed his family why this is, and was paying his penance when Hera sent a giant crab to hinder his penance progress. Why did Hercules kill his family? Yeah. Oh boy! But also, what came first? Because I know I don't think I don't think cancer has always been in our bodies. Has it? I thought it was just like the type of diet and lifestyles has created cancer. It's not like STIs has always been here. So why is cancer called cancer? The yeah. original word of cancer is credited to the Greek physician Hippocrates. Hippocrates, who is considered the father. Of What's that got to do with what I just asked? Him? What does I got to do with anything? I think Cancer the Zodiac came first. 
Yeah. And it sucks is <laughs> some of like, yeah, this is a tumor in your body. So this dude, Hippocrates, who's the father of medicine, um, used the terms carcinos and carcinoma to describe non-ulcer forming and ulcer forming tumors. In Greek, these words refer to a crab. Mm. Most likely applied to the disease because a finger like spreading projections from a cancer called the mind the shape of a crab. Mm. That's crazy. The Roman physician, who's also Greek, later translated the Greek term into cancer, the Latin word for crab. Mm. So when the tumor spreads, it looks like a cancer. I mean, it looks like a crab cancer, mm -hmm. a cancer crab. Mm. It's it, it's a it's a blow. So cancer. So whatever they called it in Greek, carcinos, carcinoma is what they called it in Greek. And then this Roman dude used a Latin translation, the Greek term into the Latin word cancer, which is crab. Mm. You got that crab. Wait wait, that wait, crab. wait, 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 wait. Crab get a bad rap. <laughs> crab has never been a good thing except for foods, right? Love crab. Exactly. Crab better over lobster. I'm, I'm not a fan of either of them. Oh, aren't you uh, allergic to They're Not allergic. I'm just not food? a fan of them. <laughs> the good food. It's crazy. Cancer get a bad rap. Even when it comes to... So cancer just means crab in general. But it's also when people say you got crabs. You know, it's also an STI. And it is uh, now a tumor. Yeah. What's what's the zodiac sign of cancer? It's a crab. I know, like as in the years, the months. Oh, oh yeah. let's see. <sighs> who in here? Who is what in, months are cancer? Yeah, who 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 in here is a cancer? What's the process? June twenty first to July twenty second. My brother and my mom are cancer. And you just know this. Dang, I just found this out today. You should ask him a story, man. What's up? How you feel about being a cancer? My brother, I get. My mom, what an angel. Oh man, how are you? What are you like cancer? Too bad I can't be Libras. You know what I'm saying? What are you like a Pisces or something? What? Like, what what are do you, you like? A, like? Yes. Huh? Yes. You're Pisces. I am. Jeez. Sheesh. Yikes. Oh boy. Uh, cancer ain't new. Yeah, I think cancer. The, the zodiac thing came first. Why do you think cancer came first? Let's look. Let's find out. What was the first zodiac sign? Aries is the first sign. Oh, that's the first sign of the zodiac. That's not. Is it the original? That's many questions. Now. What was the first zodiac sign? Oh, Aries. The first sign of the zodiac considered governing the period from March twenty first <laughs> to April nineteenth. Kennedy is silly. What do you say? I'm a cancer. We ill, bro. <laughs> Kennedy could be a girl or boy, so I don't it's know. True. I don't know your uh, ethnicity. No. Oh, sexuality. <laughs> no, ethnicity. man. Sexuality. It has nothing Gender. To sexu Thank you. Golly, it has nothing to do with any of that. It's all the sexuality. same. Ethnicity, sexuality, gender. It's all the same thing. Your pronoun. What uh? What way would you give a patient the news that they have cancer? Um, how would I give somebody the news that they had cancer? Mm -hmm. You're a doc, you're a doctor lack. Um, hey doc, uh, what's you told me to come in? What's happening? So, this is not easy for me to say this, mm -hmm. um, because it's always difficult when it comes to talking to my patients. Um, you are a a beacon of light. As, as I've been talking to you, you've been my patient for the past five, six years. And <coughs> uh -huh. please continue. And I just wanted to Let me sit down. I'm just getting tired all of a sudden. <sighs> please continue. And I just wanted to say this is not the end. Um, but I do want to let you know. I had to start off with that. I do want to let you know that. Um, we did see a mass inside your throat. 
this is, is explaining the the coughing of that you've been complaining about. So we have we have, we, have, right now. we have the best we have the best uh, doctors <clears throat> flying in to figure this out. Um, what do you mean by mass? Where is it's it's a tumor. It is a um, I don't. We, we, I don't want to say tumor. I don't want to say cancer. We don't want to kind of throw that word out there, okay? But I want to say. Well, is it cancer? Or is it not cancer? It's a it's it's a mass. Is it a cancerous mass, Doc? No, it's not there yet. We caught it early. I'm lying my ass off. <laughs> you got like weeks. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> like, it's because you got to give them that positive, and then you look the second opinion first, and like, oh, it's worse. <laughs> What do you tell you? If Weeks, I was a, you got days. If I was the first person, I'm going to sugarcoat it down. And it's just like, but here's the thing. We're we're going to get through this, all right? I've seen your, your insurance. you got the money for it. So we be good. So we're going to milk you to your last dollar. And then... Um, Doc, I don't know if you should be saying that Oh, to oh, oh. My inner monologue. Um, I got a baby delivered next door. I'm sorry, I gotta go. You do cancer and you do babies. I do cancer. You're babies. an oncologist and then you go to babies. Wow. Yeah. Not that's bad. crazy. I don't think that was a good way to deliver me news. Yeah. That's not a good way. No, I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel like I'm. I'm like, not gonna tell you the truth. Truth. I'm gonna. Why would you not tell me? The I'm truth. going to encourage you. I'm going to encourage you. Like, hey, listen, listen. But then I'm be like, you know, but for, for now, uh, live your life. Uh, loving on your your loved ones. I'm going. I'm not going to leave you hanging to be like you good. You know, keep living reckless. I want to love your loved ones. Talk to your friends and family. Give them your best. Um, but you know, don't spread the news yet because I don't want to. You know, you're you What's what's my survival percentage? Well, that's hard to say because it all depends on what you put inside your body. Whatever you put inside your body is either feeding or killing. I'm sure you've done this enough to just give me a number. You're not going to be outside. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get you out of here now to start saying your bias. <laughs> oh, Doc. I don't like this, Doc. <laughs> Give it to me straight. So, so crush my crush, crush my energy. If I came in, Doc, and tell me that um, I have... Uh, rapid Alzheimer's or something like that. All right, crush your energy. Just, just I'm like, hey, doc, hey, I feel amazing. I'm glad you. Did I that. know we went to the test. Yeah, I man. know we did our thing, man. All the pills, medicine that you've given me, I feel amazing. I'm so glad that this is the last session that I can live my life. Plan on doing this uh, 20 year anniversary with me and my daughter. When is uh, that? Huh? When is that? When is this? Yeah. Uh, we are planning this. Friday at the end of at the end of the month. At the uh, end of the month. At the end of the month. You should put that up. You should do that as soon as possible. I would do that at the end of the week. No, I, I, the, the the venue that we had, the venue that we had. You should probably just do something at your house. Something something you can do really really fast. Got Brian McKnight flying in. That's the only day he was available, so I got to kind of you know have the banquet happen. At Tyrese the needs the money. He's available. <laughs> you no. should try. Not a fan. Call somebody who can get to you as soon as possible. I need somebody with hair. I'm not a fan of Try boy. Jermaine Jackson. He's got plenty of hair. And he's got two hits. Oh. Um, look, I love your enthusiasm. I mm -hmm. love what you're doing. But I'm yeah. going to be really straight to you is that our diagnosis do not look great. The medicine didn't take the way we thought it was going to take. And what? your Alzheimer's has increased rapidly. The reason why you're feeling so good right now is because it's literally eating your brain. And all you have left is dopamine. Now, which is really great. That's why you're on. That's why you're on a high right now. But eventually, you're gonna start babbling and <laughs> not knowing. <laughs> so why are you laughing, Doc? What's this about? Mm -hmm. now, I saw this episode of Seinfeld when they did this. I'm no. so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, this is unprofessional. Yes. Yeah. What I would tell you is start looking into services that cater specifically towards people with Alzheimer's, and that uh, the sooner the better. So I hope you have, uh, you know. You need one of those twenty-four hour care facilities. Um, yeah. That, hold on. What are you talking about? What's well, exactly everything I just said? It's uh, I'd rather just give it to you straight, so you know exactly what you're going into for the next couple months. It's going to be a rough one for your family. You won't feel a thing, 
you're going to feel like you're on cloud nine. You have no idea what's going to be happening to them, but they're going to, they're going to. Uh, oh, what'd you get here, Doc? Hey, man, let me tell you something. <laughs> hey, man, let me tell you something. I feel amazing. Uh, I just want to let you know that my doctor, <laughs> we got this 20 year anniversary, <laughs> me and my wife. We're planning on going to this banquet at the end of the year. <laughs> <clears throat> Mr. Lagan, did you bring anybody else I can talk to? Is there anybody else here with these? Is there anybody else? <laughs> the, oh! Hey! What, you know what sucks, dude? I, I, I'm not trying to clown Alzheimer's at the same time. Oh, boy. At what the same time is, have you ever spoke or dealt with someone who has see now or alzheimer's or any sort of uh yeah once i had a buddy i had a buddy whose mom was going through it and so like i saw i kind of like slowly saw it and oh, one man. day he called me and was like yo can you help me find my mom she's missing wow. and so police were helping and you know because they don't want to look for an adult but it was like well she has alzheimer's and so they found her in someone else's yard digging up the plants mm. and then they were like what are you doing she's like why not do what I always do? I took my plants. I took my walk today. And she was just like naming off this stuff. And I remember her daughter just broke down crying. She was like, yo, that was like the last piece of real. Because I remember she was taking this medicine and she was doing the fish oil. She was doing all these other things that are supposed to be healthy for your brain. Okay, and fish oil tonight. Yeah, yo, immediately. People need to eat tons of salmon. Go eat that shit. Go mm -hmm. eat it every day. Um, blueberries, all that stuff. Antioxidants for your brain. Avocados are also supposed to be great for your brain. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that was like so slowly watching her get worse and worse, I was like, oh man, like it's it's a real thing. And even even kind of like running into people, they'll say, yes, he has dementia. And you'll be like, yeah. I think dementia and Alzheimer's are different. I'm not yeah. exactly sure the difference. Slightly but, different. Yeah. But yeah, man, it is, it is. It hurts me because my my brother mm -hmm. had it. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what form of dementia. You had to be young though, huh? Yeah. Oh wow. Because he um he had seizures mm -hmm. and he got into a car accident and then had a seizure. Mm. So, so he had head injuries and had a seizure. Oh. So, so I remember 16 and I was like, cause usually when he has a seizure, he would come out of it and then he'd be like, like, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. And he'd go back to life. Mm. So I remember when he had this big, big, uh, accident seizure, he was under for like a week, and then they was like, "We're gonna fly him." He, it happened in San Diego, and they flew him back to Dayton. And I remember I asked my mom, I was like, "Mom, when is this going? When is Ryan coming back?" And she was like, "This is it. This is him from now on." And I didn't get it. Mm -hmm. I thought, as in like chill, because he was kind of quiet at the time. Mm -hmm. But then. But it was, it's very different than who he was. For he's a big, big energy person. Mm -hmm. Loud. He would laugh. He would he will roast you up and down. But when he first came back, he was kind of like, <laughs> like super. Excuse me. Oh, super, boy. super chill. Mm -hmm. Super. Nah, y'all wild. Y'all silly. Nah, I don't know what you're talking about. But then I was like asking him questions, like, "Yo, remember that time we went to Patterson uh, basketball when we was playing so and so?" Homegirl got pregnant. He was just like, "Hey," like it was like it was like never an answer. Mm -hmm. But then when he started to kind of come to, he thought I was his son. Mm. Not his brother. Mm -hmm. And then he would talk to me as in like tell Dion to go get my wallet downstairs. Mm. And I was like, so now I'm like, who do you think I am? Mm. It's like, you're Montario, my son. And now I'm like, I'm trying Did he to have a son named Montario? Yes. yes. Where was he at? He was in Atlanta at the time. Oh, okay. So he's mixing all of us up. Yeah. But then things will come back. And then it's like, oh, we're good now. Mm. Like, stay here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was like, yo, Dion, remember that time I drew that picture right here? He's mm -hmm. like, dude, he's like, let's do it again. Let's do it. So we drawing the picture. I'm like, yeah, he's back. Mm -hmm. And then something slips a little bit. And then he was like, hey, I think Miss Debbie likes me. Miss Debbie's my mom's friend, <laughs> but 
Rosalind was his girlfriend. Mm -hmm. So he was mixing these two up. He was like, yo, she just bought me a t-shirt, or blah, blah, blah. And Rosalind did borrow a t-shirt, but he was saying it with like mm -hmm. another person's name. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, so now I'm like, should I fix this? So when you try to fix it, it met they, it makes them upset. It's probably because you're like, dude, I'm not crazy. Like I know, right? I know exactly what like I do. You, I'm you're you're I'm older than you, so I know more than you. Right. So when you try to fix it or try to help, they like, no, stop. stop. And it's like, I, I gotta go with this because it's gonna cause an argument. Dang, yeah. yeah. So when I started, I was like, gosh, I, was like, I hate this because you like you're playing this little game of, am I? Going to say no, that's not true, or is like a um, yeah, you're right. I didn't eat my vegetables, I go eat them now. Like, mm -hmm. now I'm his son now, so mm -hmm. like, eat your vegetables, man. Stop eating that ice cream. I'm oh, like, boy. okay, so now you gotta kind of like play along and stuff, like right? That. Right, and it sucks because it's like, I, I want this ice cream, <laughs> but at the same time, if I say, man, eat that ice cream, like, I I'm your daddy, I said, eat, eat some vegetables, and I'm like. <laughs> and it's like, because all they're going to do is like, now he's feel like he got to whoop me. Right, right. Like, literally whoop me because he feel like I'm his child. Yeah. Like, this has happened. Now, and then my mom was like, just, just stop. It's like, mom, tell him. Like, you were, you were telling me what I, what I said. And she's like, Dion, just eat your vegetables. And I was like, at the time, I'm like 16, 17. I'm like, I'm a grown man. But he's like, like 30. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's like 29 and done. But I'm just like, I can't believe I got to do this. But at the same time, I was like, I hate that this is my brother yeah. that I had all these great memories yeah, yeah, with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's crazy, yeah, bro. Yeah. I don't know what's, I don't know what brings it out of people, like the dementia or the Alzheimer's. I don't know what happens. Mm -hmm. I don't know what causes it. Right. And I, and I, I know foods is a big thing. That was talking about, like, yeah, like the different foods to, uh, I mean, I can't say exactly what. Foods not to eat per mm -hmm. se, but you know, I know certain you know certain foods help and protect our brain. Mm -hmm. right? So let me tell you something, dude. There's a movie that's out now. Mm -hmm. If you want to sink and feel bad, I really want to. I really. I do not want to feel that way. No, as in like feel bad, as in like I'm hyperventilating about being the POV of this story. It's a movie with Michael Keaton. It's called uh, Knox, Knox is Going Away or something like that. Okay. And he's a hitman mm -hmm. with dementia. Oh, that sounds and, and it starts early, like in the movie of like, yeah, you, sh you should start to say your goodbyes and start talking to people. Mm -hmm. And he's like, yeah. How many days I got? He said, yeah. You better start saying goodbyes now. Mm -hmm. So it's like in his head, like I got one more hit job, and after this, I'm gonna leave, get out of it. Um, what sucks is the POV of this damn movie. It is, it is great because it it blinks, and things are different. Because mm. now you understand from his head. Mm. When I tell you, Chaz, I felt it. Mm. Imagine going in there. He's like, "How I end up over here?" Because mm. it had one more job. Yeah. It was daylight, Chaz. He blinked and it was dark. Yeah. And he was like, what am I doing over here? And he's looking like, oh yeah. And he heard somebody and he's like, and he's like, blink. He's like, hey, what the fuck? He's like, what is happening? Like now he's like, I don't even know what's happening. Man, that's deep. That's dope. <laughs> From his perspective. That's a great concept. Think about that. Yeah. God, I was like, man. I wonder if that's what it's like, though. Yeah, imagine, dude, just think about if you start talking to me, like, yo, Deanne, we got to start a podcast. Like, dude, we never had a podcast. Right. This is true in our reality. Right, right. If you're like, Deanne, we're going to do the podcast. Like, Chess, you did a podcast with Keon. Right. And, <laughs> yeah, like, and it's, it's just like, week, dude, man. I come to your house every single day. And it's like, no, you went to Keon's house. You had a <laughs> God, that would hurt, right? That's nuts. Yeah. And then you're trying to make sense of it, like, wait a second. Right. What are you talking about? And now you're like, y'all joking. We, I know we play around. And it's like, y'all got to talk to my wife. Chaz, you ain't never been married. <laughs> like, You've never been married. I remember this. This is real to me. <laughs> Dude, that's that's, that's Nigga, sitting. from that POV, it hurts. What's that movie called? Do you know what it's called? Uh, I'll find it for you. Uh, 
CP just had a joke about what about that recently? Him dealing with a cousin in a mental oh, and mental in a mental hangout, and that had to be tough. You have to pack your patients when dealing with that mental disability. Yeah, Knox goes away. Knox goes away. Here you go. Who found it? Spice. What's that? Spicy original. There we go. Man, uh, I don't God, know. that movie is cold, man. I feel bad for my kid too, because if anything starts happening to me, she she only child. She I'm like, I gotta deal with this bullshit by myself. Yeah. I gotta deal with this by myself. That's the name of the movie right there. He had one last job. I didn't get to finish it, definitely fell asleep, but I was like, I I felt I was hyperventilating because I was like, so imagine like you like you like and it was like the nose like and you just like where am I? Man, I eat <laughs> Fish and salmon almost every day. I hope. <laughs> I hope. Woo! They're all there. Oh, just thinking about it again. Like imagine driving, Chaz. Oh man. And you just like, where am I going? How to get to Vegas? And, and what? And you just all of a sudden like, what country am I in? Why am I on the left side? Why am I? And you in just handcuffs. Get out of what I just got here. Hey, why are my pants down? Hey, what are you doing back there? Oh. And she said, What do you mean fish is killing you? What are you talking about? Don't you start disparaging fish now? Um, there's another movie too. I read the book too. The man carried man character had early onset dementia. Witness a murder. Hey. I think I want to make a movie like that, dude. All oh, the oil spills. Oh, I don't think that my fish have oil spills. I right? Know. I think I know. I don't think yeah. they use those fish, do they? Yeah, I hope not. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm a hey, nigga. Money's involved. They like I just skin it off, but it's like it's in the bones, man. It's like it's wild caught. It's just soak it in some wild water. caught in this oil. <laughs> they like just cook it. It it yeah, come it's, off. It's, keep burning it off. It, it, the oil go to the top. My fish is. <laughs> what kind of oil did I use? Well, this is oil. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I hope not. I'm almost certain. Listen, listen. And I need you to be honest with me. Mm-hmm. If you had a shit, a shipment of let's just say oysters. Okay. A hundred million pounds of oysters in the in a uh big shipment. Yeah. In a tube truck. Okay. Tube truck. And upon arrival, as soon as the, op- the doors open up and it falls out, they're like, oh, we sorry, man. Um, we came from New Orleans to, to give you a shipment. It's, it's all profit, man. Um, so you're not really losing money. We're just giving it to you. Uh, sorry, I can just dump it here, man. You were like, it's the cleaning this off. But it, like, it, it, it dumped into like a landfill. Are you like, I'm just clean though. I'm still gonna sell it to this. Uh, well, if they're oysters, I hope they're all closed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, the inside's fine. He's like, no, you dumped it out. It was a whole, a whole, yeah, who'd you say, landfill? Yeah, manure. Let's just say that. Oh, and then, and now, like, like all these LA, the company was like, all everybody in LA was like, hey, where's the oysters at? We got people coming. Would you be like, Hey man, I'm sorry, man. I can't make it. Or you like, give me another day, or I'm, I'm gonna clean all this off. Yeah, I would tell them the greatest lie. I'd be like, hey, we're on the way. You know that one company, whatever rival company we had. You know oysters in them. <laughs> they tried to hijack my truck, man. Oh, yeah, don't worry. I'm in Tennessee now. I should be there by the morning. You a villain, dude? <laughs> Feed these people. Orchards is already a gamble. Cause isn't it like it is already yeah, terrible. Isn't it like like it can be poison at a certain time? I don't think it'd be poisonous, but it goes bad really fast. Yeah, Are you still gonna try to sell that money? <laughs> I'm like, whoa! <laughs> Where you get these oysters from? These are the most authentic <laughs> off the Brazilian coast. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> because like, it, it, what's funny is even though things are dangerous, people are like. Still, like if if somebody gave me, this is, it sounds like somebody gave me. God, I hate to say this. If somebody gave me a suitcase of fentanyl, mm-hmm. right? You know how valuable fentanyl is. 
sure. you're not going to do it. Right. I promise you can try to figure out a way. How can I flip this? I would take it to the police. You would? <laughs> I have to. You would? Yeah. I've, I know. Yeah. It's very dangerous. I know it kills I, I don't want to accidentally uh, drop it. Poof. <laughs> heroin then. Liquid heroin. Liquid heroin. Yeah. Um, no, I'm not trying to flip any drug. No, I'm not. So, so, so listen, I'm, I'm definitely going to sit with it for a second. Like, who do I know? Wait, like, look, let's say I found a big briefcase of Coke. Yeah. Right. And I go like, this is probably $80,000 yeah. in street value. Yeah. I'm not doing shit with this. No. But you, you're going you're gonna to talk to somebody and say, hey, if do anything, you do with it. If anything, least... I'm going to leave it right where it is. Really? Yeah, 100%. Somebody looking for that Coke. Yeah. <laughs> Police looking for it, drug dealers are looking for yeah, it. Yeah. I'm not about to be the one they go find in my whole family. They're watching, <laughs> sending me pictures of my daughter from school. Yeah, if you don't get that back. Yeah. And she's on the swings and <laughs> I'm not touching nothing. No. I'm like, woo! Click. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go yeah. Wipe my fingerprints. <laughs> <laughs> click, click. Oh. What if it's just cash? You see a you see a hundred million dollars in a suitcase. Yeah. I only saw 80 million. <laughs> what? A hundred mil? Y'all sure? Where'd I get this house from? <laughs> what you mean? Now it's changed. Now it has changed because you found the cash. It's a different game. No, it's not because somebody's looking for that money. Well, somebody's looking for that money. But if there's a hundred mil, if there's a hundred million, I'm taking million. No, they somebody's still looking for that money. Sure, but Nothing I have a better you, chance. Another picture of your daughter. <laughs> Bring the money. Now I gotta work as a mule. <laughs> Bring the money. They stick Re all these up your ass. Return, <laughs> Return the house back to the seller and bring me my money. Yes, sir. Yeah. No, I, I'd have more of a chance of keeping the money than the actual drug product. That's too many. It's too many people I gotta talk to. I gotta find somebody who can who can flip this, or mm -hmm. just start dealing myself. Which yeah. I can't go wrong. But who do I know needs right. drugs? Anybody right. need drugs? No, you gotta be very. If I go to the comedy store. You gotta be very <laughs> strategic, man. You know people who smoke. You know people who sell, and you know people who's around it. I don't know so, if you do heroin or coke. You, I promise you do. I I will throw the name out, but I'm not doing no gamma. But I'm, what I'm saying is, you can say, hey, by any chance. Something I'm, I'm happened. I'm not doing any of this. I'm leaving anything yeah. I find right where it's at. Okay. However, if I found the money, I'm leaving 99% of it. Because even if I was a big drug dealer, dude, and I found you, and mm -hmm. I was like, oh, you found my money, huh? Mm -hmm. You only took a million? Man, I can respect that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I only took a million, man. I'm so sorry, yeah, man. Yeah, I just yeah. I saw this money. I didn't know where it came. I know it's just, I knew it was yours. I gave it back yeah. to you. Would you still kill me over a million dollars that I found? What if they they what if they watched you the entire time and just like Chaz has it? Just 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 let him live his life until we need him. <laughs> until you burn for that entire money, and then they were like, "Hey man, congratulations on the movie, man!" But check this out, bro. Mm -hmm. um, I need to be an executive producer of your film. You're like. Wow. Talking about this is the fourth film. Why would I put you on? I don't even know who you are. Right. <laughs> like this movie is worldwide, international, greatest movie of all time. Yeah. I kind of feel I've counted your pockets and the, the, the your angel investor, <clears throat> this guy, kind of feel like I need to be making money with the merchandise, your toys. Hey man, you can kiss my ass. <laughs> okay. I don't know who you are or who the fuck you think you are talking to me like that. You know, you about to, you know who this little girl is right here, right? Hey, see her on the swing. How you get this picture? <laughs> I got this picture, and this she goes to a secure school. How you get this picture? <laughs> and this is you right here picking up my suitcase, and this is you right here, and you at your uh, your ten year uh, renewal with you and your wife. Beautiful, very beautiful, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is also you right here at, at Christmas Greens when you told your wife you. <laughs> so I've been watching you for quite some time now. So I kind of feel like. I'm glad you took the money because now you're the next Tyler Perry and I see what you're, the empire that you're building and I kind of feel like I want to be business partner with you. Would I kind of feel the same. Would you be like, hell no? Would you be like, no, I kind of, what's your name? <laughs> Who do I write the check to? <laughs> Who do I write the check Just anonymous? <laughs> no, no, I don't want to be anonymous. I want my money back to where I found it. In a briefcase. Oh, man. Yeah. 
I just want, he's like, cause, cause, cause you know, there's like, like Mark Zuckerberg has a bunch of silent partners because mm -hmm. of the people who build like Facebook around him. Mm -hmm. Like I don't want to. I, I don't want nothing to do with Facebook. I just want my check every single month. Check. <laughs> How often does it come? Every single month. I know it do. Because I, Mark Zuckerberg. I don't know. Don't don't quote me. I think he owns like he owns like seventy eight percent, and then it's like come somebody on, owns like twenty percent, and then like four percent, two percent, and it trickles going down. So if I can, if I if 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 Facebook is worth, but look it up. Much, I'm gonna say how much it is. How much is Facebook worth? Five no, that's that's for uh just trading at five hundred sixteen dollars on Jeez. How much is Meta worth? You stupid the name book is Meta Stu now. Alice. Manu events it off. What? This is it. Is this right? What? This says it's worth one point. Hey man, that sounds right. Because you know, Meta is now uh, Instagram. No, that's not right. You know, you know, Meta, Facebook owns Instagram. How much is Mark Zuckerberg with worth? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. This is not right. Either. What, did you, what did you want? Not want me to Google Mo? Three billion. No. Okay, okay, okay. He's worth one hundred seventy-six billion dollars. Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey. Yeah. All right, let's see. What's one percent of one hundred and seventy-six billion dollars? Just show me they just yeah. move the decimal, yo. Oh, what is it then, lad? Like? What see, is it? No, see, no, what is let it? Let me see the number. No, what is it? One hundred seventy. What's what's one percent of one hundred and seventy-six billion? Oh, that's ten percent. Move the decimal over. What is it? Hmm. Oh, that's funny. Uh, I was thinking ten percent. Oh, so you don't know? I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> but I'm sure I'm certain it is 170, 176 million. You think one percent of one? Yep. Why is this thing that's one hundred and seventy six million? It's one percent. Watch. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, okay. I gotta edit this video that I had asked a question. And I just never. What I had, I had add what had one of these questions that I wanted to ask the people, but I kept messing up. Oh my God, what's no. what's the question? So, I want you to get your your thought out first before I ask the question because it's gonna be two questions being merged together. Why is not even telling me what's the what's one percent? Why why is it not showing? Me? This is, it just says one point one percent of US one six, but it says the exact same number. That's not right. Yeah. So why do you help me on that? Mm -hmm. What's one percent of one point seventy six billion dollars? I say one hundred and seventy six million dollars. One percent of ten billion is a hundred million. So there's a whole nother zero space. I don't know. Mm -hmm. All right. So my question was, and is and is and is back to drugs. Okay. So I didn't know how to ask this question without. So here it is. <clears throat> Would you smoke crack? For a hundred thousand dollars every week, and every week you go, you get another hundred thousand dollars. Okay, so every week I got smoke crack, right? Yes, and I get a hundred thousand dollars per every crack Monday. Smoke. Every Monday, how would you ask that question? What do you mean? Because I was trying to, I was trying to ask the question, I kept messing up. I was like, I don't know how to ask. Oh, uh, what you did, what you just, <laughs> but what's the question now? Would I you, because I was like, but, but there's also that's the question, but also if you would do it. How many weeks would you go mm -hmm. every week? Would you smoke crack for a hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars? So, so there's fifty two weeks in a year, so I have a chance to make five point two mil. Yes, right? <laughs> yes, yes. 
And also, it's crack. It's crack. So there's a huge I feel chance. like I can do a year of crack. <laughs> I feel like I can do all 52 weeks of crack. And you don't got to stop. But also, it's crack. It's a, it's a, it's an addiction. But I've seen crack has last for years, decades. Yes. <laughs> and it's government issue. It is, pr- it's is prime. This is not like street crack. Yeah, I feel like I feel like I do a year of crack, bro. I'm like, hey guys, I'll see you. Uh, well, I don't know when I'll see you again, but I'm gonna go to this crack right here. Just make sure I'm back at the crack house on Monday. <laughs> Come find me. What you think is gonna happen? Like you'll be found somewhere. Well, else? Who knows where I'm gonna be? I don't know. Yeah, you know. But I'm like, yo, man, come hit me with the crack. Uh, this is too many zeros. Somebody just write out the number. <laughs> I can't look at the she zero. Said, uh, ten million seven hundred and sixty thousand. <clears throat> oh, you know what? I'm dumb. Yeah. One point seven six. It was one hundred seventy six billion. One percent of one hundred seventy six billion is one point seven six billion. So a billion dollars, damn near, is the one percent of the hundred seventy-two billion. I got it. I don't know why that was confusing my brain. Um, because we had never counted that high. <laughs> never needed to. Right. Yeah, one percent. You imagine having one percent of a share in that? Yeah. Dang. That's what I said, man. I've been looking at my friends. I'm like, y'all create some shit. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> if somebody said. Ten million seven hundred and sixty thousand dollars. That's what I said. Um, I'm definitely doing crack as long as I can do crack. You really think you can do this? Think about it. It's not a hundred like, grand a week is it's, it's crazy not, money. It's not eating a pound of sugar. Right. This is crack. Right. So it's it's it's. Your brain changes. Well, how much? I mean, how much time do you get before you're like you're addicted? Like, am I hooked on a first? It, it could be crack? the first time. You you could be too. They're like, oh, I gotta hurry up, get back to it. Yeah, I mean, you, now you forgot why you be doing this for. <laughs> Sucking random <laughs> dicks in the alley. You're just like, I don't even know which way is up. I just need somebody to come get me after a year, <laughs> then lock me up, like, fix my teeth. Uh, you know, just let me just like hold me hostage somewhere where I'm just like I can, you know, get off crack. You know what I mean? So it's like, Chas, you did it, baby. You, you made five point. Five, was it five point fifty two weeks? Yeah. Uh, I made five point two mil. You made five point two million. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. How much crack can I get? <laughs> I'm gonna blow it all up more crack. I'm gonna take it to the to the local heroes. No, no, the experiments of crack. <laughs> It's like you don't have to do this no more. It's like, oh yeah, dude. <laughs> yes, I do. Is it Monday yet? I need that shit right now. <laughs> you want to see your daughter move, bitch? <laughs> Her name ain't Crack, is it? How long? Honestly, you really think go over here? No, I, I, uh, I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can. I'd probably try one good hit for hundred grand. Like, you be like, <laughs> I can imagine you be like, nigga, this is what they be going through. Hell no, nah. give me my hundred. That's all I want. hundred thousand. That's all I want, well, man. What if it's the best I'm you done. ever felt? Yes. That's what I'm saying. It's like, yo, this is what they be. I get that shit away from me. I love it. <laughs> I want it now. Do not bring that by me, please. But then you be thinking about crack all the time. You, like, you doing podcasts like, listen, it's not what it's. it's you be like, listen, it is what it's cracked up to be. Pun intended. <laughs> Be calling me, man. Be calling like, man. I want to know. I want to know from an actual crackhead to describe it. Crack. Yeah, and if they can talk you into it. <laughs> I wish there was a, a VR that could give you the experience of crack. A hundred grand to smoke one rock. That sounds like great money. Yes. That sounds like I, I can be dumb not to do this. Yeah. Right. Yeah. One rock. Yeah. A hundred grand? Yes. I'm smoking. But it's also, it's a camel, man. I'm like, if I do two in one pipe, do I get 200 grand? You got to get it all in at one time. You got to smoke this rock down. Or the whole thing? It's a, it's a gamble, bro. How big is this rock? I don't know, man. I don't know the, the terminologies of it's, it's a. How many ounces are we talking? Just normal crack. I don't know. What is the standard? Really the number one. Just. <laughs> A medium. Can I get the big back of cracks? <laughs> get the, the big crack. 
uh, to, to all the patties. I feel like it's more like hundred grand, one smoke, one rock. Mm-hmm. And you got hundred grand. Yeah, but also that. it's crack, bro. You gotta do that. You gotta look at it like this. Yes, you think it's just like one cigarette, but it's also like this sounds really dark, but it's like it's like it's like there's four women right here. Mm-hmm. One of these girls have an STD. Mm-hmm. You have to have sex with them raw. Mm-hmm. You're going to get a hundred thousand dollars. You were like, "What kind of STD?" It's, it's, it's not curable. Oh. <laughs> it's, not, it's not curable. That's more of a risk than crack. No, but here, yes, but crack is also it could be irreversible. As in, like, I can't get off. Maybe you don't know how your body's going. That's to why it. I need my family to be like, "Yo, ho, find me, <laughs> find me, find me, hold me down." Just strap me to the bed, right? <laughs> Help me get clean. Help me be like, oh man, I, yeah, I had to shake that. Yeah, you know what I mean. And then monitor me for a while. Somebody yeah. trying to run off back to crack. Yeah, you good? Yeah, you good. <laughs> Go to the store real quick. What are you getting? Crack bread. <laughs> crack bread. <laughs> hey, yeah, I want my bread and cracks. Slices, slices, slices. <laughs> you need to do an issue at time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that Bobby Brown job. <laughs> Woo! Chaz, you a little fidgety. <laughs> yeah, well, you be a little fucking fidgety too, wouldn't you? I can't wait till Monday. <laughs> <laughs> it's Tuesday, Chaz. Chill out, man. Man, hey, man. $100,000 to smoke a rock. That's good, bro. That's It's great. But at the same time. I got to do that. I got to do that. Now, on the fentanyl, I wouldn't do. No, of course not. That is a guarantee. Right. Death. But if, or pills I wouldn't do. Yeah. But I've seen crackheads flourish. They come mm-hmm. back. Yeah. Yeah, man, I was on that stuff. Right? Well, yeah. But it's also, you know, some people, I'm sure somebody, somebody had bad experience with crack. As in like, at first was like, like my brain wasn't the same after that. Dementia right. sort of thing. Right. Um. Yeah, man. You know, we, you since, smoke. You since, smoking it? I've never. I mean, would you do it um, for hundred grand? You smoking that rock? <sighs> Kids watching you. Gosh, dude. you gotta do it in front of your family. If if it was a government issued experiment, <laughs> why do you trust the government crack over the street crack? Because I feel like it's not. It's FDA it's not laced. It's not laced. Okay. It's not like it's been stepped on. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, dude. I, I need to have some sort of training with a crackhead. What it's you mean like, training? What, what to There's no training, bro. You smoke this rock, you get cash, hundred thousand dollars. I need to know, like, a hey, I used to eat a bunch of bread. Okay, do what? Like, <laughs> Make, help me out. Don't eat it on the edges, don't smoke yeah, it on the edges stomach. Like, tell me what I need to do. Just like what's gonna blow my high? What's gonna protect my brain? Nothing. What's there's, gonna there's put nothing, a condom on? There's nothing that can protect you from the effects of crack. He's got to ride that wave, baby. Oh boy, he's got to ride that wave. Now, would you like me to light it for you? <laughs> Cameras are rolling. Your, your kids are like, it's not just for us. <laughs> oh, minty, menthol crack. Cool. Who knew is this delicious? Give me all the crap. We just changed instantly. More. My precious people in the comment section, would y'all smoke crack? Everybody's smoking crack for a hundred grand. Yes, you are. You goddamn liars. You're smoking one rock. I'm doing meth, I'm doing heroin, I'm doing it all. For God, one heroin is crazy. I'm doing it all for a hundred grand. I don't mess with my veins, man. Hey, I, you'll be fine though. Heroin addicts, they probably last longer than crack is. I also found out very recently that lean is heroin in a cup. I did not look that up. But a guy, because I don't want to sound like an asshole, but a guy told me, he's a nurse, that said lean is <coughs> is liquid heroin. It's like... Uh, is know, it the effects the, the same? But it's not made from the same not, stuff, right? No, it's not the injection. Please help me out some of my comments. What uh, is heroin even yeah, made of? Because I think the, the is it like mitinol and shafintapol, that's what's inside of cough syrup. And it's the same sort of side effects of being drowsy. Okay. Heroin is an opiate drug processed from morphine and extracted from certain poppy plants. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. A natural substance. Oh, that's good. Taken from the seed pod of the various opium poppy plants grown in the southeast. Oh, this is a... Uh... Wait, it's the same thing as... Uh, what's it called? Um, Cough syrup. Oh, it's just opium. What's opium? Opium is like... Yeah, from those poppy plants. Promethazine is in the lean. There it is. Can the crack be in liquid form? This is the hair brown. All right, what's the difference between opium and heroin? Because opium is a very old drug, especially like in Asia. Mm -hmm. It's like a very old drug. People smoke opium all the time. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Opium and heroin offer similar effects, namely creating euphoria and suppressing pain. That sounds good. That's a cough syrup. That sounds good for you. Promethazine. Of course, there are many differences when you look at heroin versus opium. Opium comes directly from the naturally occurring narcotic manufacturers extract from the sap of unripe bulbs of the poppy plant. Okay. Right. This is opium. from the, Directly from the naturally occurring narcotic manufacturers extract from the sap. This sounds very organic, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Right? That mm -hmm. sounds like a good thing. Yeah. Okay. So it's opium. heroin is a synthetic substance that uses opium as its primary active ingredient. So heroin is manufactured. Opium is that purity. Right. But how do you... This is the same thing to do with cocaine and coke. Yeah, but what do you do with opium? Like You smoke it or you inject it? You smoke it. You So opioids... So it's a it's a higher level of potency than opium. Sheesh. The higher potency leads to more euphoria, eventually more significant problems. Well, yeah, that we know. So the FDA classifies opium as a legal substance when manufacturers make the substance in illegal labs, factories. Oh. Well, well, opium sounds fine. Mm -hmm. But again, I think this is is uh, like is it being. Injected, drunk, smoked. I think that's the problem that, that people. I don't even know this. An opiate is a natural substance derived from the poppy plant that we know. That's an opiate. Codeine, morphine, and heroin are some examples of opiates. O uh, opioids are both synthetic and natural narcotic. So there's opiate and opioids. Oh boy. Examples of synthetic opioids are Vicodin, Oxycontin, mm. codeine. The codeine is in the opioids in the lean. So, man, just do regular old opium. Good old stuff, naturally. You can grow it yourself, I'm sure. Who's wasting time on weed when you can have opium? You know? What's more natural than that? This, it's crazy yeah. that weed is a natural thing. Mm -hmm. Cocaine is a natural thing mm -hmm. for the plant until people get to it. And opium are natural things that make you feel this way. Right. And it's like, how is this illegal, man? But if you if you were in a ton of pain back in the day, just like, yo, smoke this. Whether it's weed, whether it's opium, mm -hmm. that's to get your body numb, to relax. And stuff. It's a natural painkiller. Right, right. It's, it's, it's wild right that now. a plant is illegal. Yeah, illegal. I mean, but, it's, but, now, but now it's what people do to it. Because you can't even have a Coke plant. It's crazy, but you can't have one legally because people turn into a coca. Right. But it's a natural growing plant. Right. That's nuts, man. Um, which is a cough syrup. Uh, I'm not suff I'm not my eyes. I need to put my glasses. On. I'm not sullying my Google search with your drug questions. Hey, as a writer in general, my That's Google crazy. search is crazy. It's crazy. Crazy. So upon that question, the, re the reason why she said that is because <coughs> I had I was gonna change crack into uh uh oxycot no oxycot uh what's the other one um, like it oh meth oh i was gonna change crack into meth mm -hmm. so when i asked google i had said what's <laughs> what's worse what's worse between crack and meth uh, meth is like way worse isn't it i don't know man That's what do you think I think meth has got to be worse than crack. Meth is all chemicals, right? Like it's it's a hundred percent made of mm -hmm. baking soda. Is probably not that bad. So when I when I Google what's worse between <laughs> crack and meth, help is available. 
Yeah, I'd be hating. That mug did not answer me. It said, help is available. Please text. Meth is the worst from what I hear. Fentanyl. Well, yeah, fentanyl. So yeah, the fentanyl most. is the joker of the, of the card deck. Hey, man. I'm I'm down for a little opioid. I want to try that uh, opium. I want to try that poppy seed, baby. Yeah. What about the actual like poppy seeds in a lemon poppy muffin? Ooh. Well, I heard I heard those things can give you like drug test results. Of, like, yeah, let's see if something might come up positive. I did not know that. If you eat poppy seeds, I don't know why I put two and two together when it comes to poppy seed. Poppy I, seed. I never knew a poppy seed was a drug related term until today. Wow. Right now, somebody said we still gotta flip this. <laughs> Somebody's like, we're gonna make this heroin. But we still got these seeds. Dang. So now, now I'm thinking about what was the movie with Denzel Washington? He was a drug dealer, American Gangster. Mm -hmm. He was getting opium from the people over there in Vietnam War. They were putting opium into the soldiers' caskets, mm. and then they were bringing it over here. And then they had to do their own thing to it. You remember all this in the movie? Sure. This was this was the thing. But now that makes sense because. Now knowing that the poppy seed is how you get the base, this is this is your salad conversation. <laughs> this is the base is opium of heroin. Crazy. I didn't know that. I and thought heroin was just something. And what's even worse is just know that your heroin came from overseas on a dead body. Yeah. It was on it was in somebody's armpit for a while. It was long. Oh boy. Let's see. They showing up at the door. Keep playing. Poppy C definitely can trigger a false positive. Chaz Hush, you don't even drink alcohol. You won't be doing opium. I don't get offered a hundred. You don't think I would take a shot of whatever for a hundred thousand dollars? There's not. There's no benefit for me drinking except mm -hmm. for spending money. Mm -hmm. It's hurting my liver, my kidneys. However, a hundred thousand dollars, I'm gonna get a whole new kidney. I'm gonna get somebody else's liver. How much is a kidney worth? What's the street value on kidneys? How much Listen. can I sell my kidney for? <laughs> Please, if you need help. What is my okay? Let me let's let's do something. Some uh, you see, thirteen hundred to as big as one hundred fifty thousand dollars at all. What was, what's the first one? It said thirteen hundred dollars to one hundred fifty thousand dollars. Guess how much yeah, you get that money? Depends on how young you are. Yeah, you can get this from can you. I sell my kidney for money? Uh, the law explicitly states that it is a crime for anyone to knowingly acquire, yeah. receive, or otherwise it's transfer. Was it har harboring organs? I don't know, man. Harvesting organs? You can sell bone marrow, though. I heard that's a horrible process. Well, there's a 10 body parts you can legally sell. Would you eat baking grease pudding? It's like, <laughs> it's it's the, it's the uh, baking grease that's cold. When it's caked up, would you eat Ew. baking grease pudding? I'd rather do the crack. <laughs> that is gross. Yuck. <laughs> that don't sound good at no? all. No, I know. No. Hey, you can get you can get a dollar per ounce of breast milk. Man. I gotta start Word? cooking. Man, what crazy. if you lie? You're just like this is breast milk. <laughs> it's goat milk. <laughs> no, it's just just. White water. I feel like they'd be able to tell. They're like, what is this? First off, like, my baby is terribly sick. What is happening? <laughs> Coconut milk? There's no, <laughs> no nutrients in this titty milk. <laughs> but here you go. Um, oh, boy. Stessie stepped on powder. Remember in the Wiz, they got high on the poppy fields? I mean, wow. It makes, it makes sense now. Just take some golden seal for your eye. What is that? Golden seal sounds like something that you got to be 70 to, to know. Mm -hmm. Take someone this golden seal. Uh, hey, if people use drugs, a lot of people's butts in jail, I'm sure they don't care about a cask. Hey, drug addicts is a drug addict, yo. Hey, man, people really put drugs in their butt. Yeah. And be like, well, I'm going they in today. Push it out, yo. Yeah. Crazy. I'll wrap up we're doing an hour and 30. We're gonna end on uh mm -hmm. drugs in your butt. Mm -hmm. That's how you end the show. Yeah. Drugs in your butt. Hey man, I've been in the gym, bro. My muscles are hurting. <laughs> you been you've been watching yourself the whole time? Like, yeah, it is. 
Well, it's not even like that. I'm just more saying it's sore. I'm not, I wasn't talking about the flex game. It was like, you, man. This shit hurt. In the gym, baby. Ah, you know, you try to go down. Ah, your muscles like, hey, man, hey, slow down. I'm happy back in the gym, though. Let's, Let's get it. Man. Let's get it. Lard. Um, appreciate y'all for watching. Uh oh, jeez, I haven't done this in a while. Thank you guys for watching the episode of Lacker on Your Chest. No, 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 check it, please. Because <laughs> <laughs> I oh, forgot. <laughs> Dion's face and it was coming. He was just like, Ugh. here we go. You need some more time? No, good. Um, do you? Do no, I'm you good. You just lube your mouth up. Oh, you know what? You right. <laughs> Let me lube my mouth up. And this is it. Would you? Would you eat some a bowl of lard for ten thousand dollars? A bowl of bacon grease. That's a lot of money for a bowl of bacon grease. That's worth it. Yeah. 10 grand? I clear that bowl up. Have you accidentally had some cold bacon grease? But we're talking about $10,000. $10,000 for bacon grease? Up. And you can see the chunks of... Well, I don't know if, I, I don't know if I'll throw up or not, but I would try. $10,000? Mm -hmm. Love it. Mm. Ah, like it's ah cold bacon grease. Just the the sodium and it's like it has is pudding alone. The texture of pudding is crazy. Ten thousand though to eat something. Come on, man, that's worth it. And your shit is gonna slide right out. It'll be fine. Okay, let's do it. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Lacker on your chest. Now, 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 check, please. And do you mind if I give them some more? Yes, please. A lot of laughs we're cooking up in this podcast. <laughs> T the X T the lot. What? Chaz ain't making it through the first spoon. I'm making it. Thank you guys so much for watching Lacker on your chest. Now, 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 now check, check, please. Do you mind if I give them some more? Yes, please. A lot of laughs we're cooking up in this podcast. Type in XD <laughs> is high key the live stream. It's mostly positive conversations, except we tend to get darker than elbows on Wesley. We sort of pop out like Coca Cola and Pepsi. Mr. Chaz Rogers, Big Betty from Lansing. I'm lactose. ENT, I guess we pay for the bills. So give us another check, check please. please. I feel like people are forcing the whole no diddy thing. You know, it sound natural for people to say it. No diddy, huh? Huh? I feel like everybody wants to laugh as soon as you say it. Yeah. No diddy, huh? Huh? It's hot. It's not. He's gonna die down. Did he leave? Is he in a different country? Is he still around? No. Yeah. Um, appreciate y'all for watching. If you're watching live, you're watching on Lack Coast. If you're watching via YouTube, yeah, you're watching my channel, Chaz Rogers. Appreciate y'all. Thank you for clicking. Uh, thank you for supporting. Please continue to watch, support, share, laugh, tell your friends. If you are watching the live, you gonna do another? You got sure. time? We're gonna do another episode. If you uh, aren't on the live, we'll see you next week, man. Appreciate y'all. To the loop. And are cut. You huh? You sure you press record? Yeah, I'm sure. I'll be down to twelve. Sheesh. Twelve what, people? You talked about butts. Oh, boy. <laughs> ah. Let me tell y'all something, man. Damn, yeah, I like being in this gym. Muscles hurting. I meant to put this on before you even started the show, but yeah, it makes sense now. What? This hoodie? Oh. You know, you know the, the, the worst thing is when you get in an argument with somebody? What? Huh? What's the worst thing? Not the worst thing, but as in when you're you're forced, like say for instance, I'm like, hey, I gotta go. And then the person's like, hold on, let me tell you about blah, blah, blah. And it's like, no, this is not a good time. We gotta talk about this. Are you spelling your shirt or are you talking about the argument? No, I'm talking about Oh, <laughs> I thought you said. Oh, no, I'm talking about the argument. <laughs> And then, and then you say your point, you're like, and with that being said, I got to go like I said. And it's like, woo. Once somebody says you got to talk about it later, you got to talk about it later. Yeah. You got to be like, all right, man, let me just. I, that's when I start writing stuff down so I don't forget what I wanted to say. Yeah. I'm like, hold on, let me write this shit down. Because I don't want to forget everything I thought of saying when I think of saying it. Yeah. I had a I feel like I'm in a cult with this hoodie on. Uh, I had a great exit <laughs> from an argument. Yeah, recently. Yeah, nice. Today. Today. Yeah. 
And I was like, <clears throat> I'm about to start the podcast. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Now she's watching you? Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm all, uh, I don't know, man. I feel like I argue better than people. I don't feel like I, I quote unquote, argue. But I feel like uh, I got press better at, button. yeah. I press that. Okay. I feel like I got better at listening to people, you know, like like trying to do some like real real conflict, but not everybody like takes that time to actually listen. To Man, when you're having a discussion, people can't wait to, to say the response. You be know, like, hey, can we talk about this point? I'm gonna start writing stuff down as we go along. <laughs> as this resolved, check. And and I'm also not a fan of people who enjoy to hear their their rants and just keep saying the same thing over and over again. That's the worst. And it's like, and it's like one, two, three are the, the opening numbers of the, 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 the you know numerically. But sometimes you like to reverse it, three, two, one. But you you tend to start to start it with zero, one, two, three. But you always gotta figure out a way to do three, two, one. Let me say because you when you say one, two, three, and it's like sometimes reverse, you stop at two. But you got one, it's like in my head it's like how the hell do we move forward? I can't even think of the water up. <laughs> <laughs> My thing with arguments, bro, I'm always like, all right, great, great, great. I understand why you're upset. This makes sense, right? You're upset because X, Y, Z. How do we move forward? Mm -hmm. I don't want to keep talking about the same dumb shit. How do we move forward? What's the solution? People, people will just argue about that thing that they're mad about. And it's like, hey, man, I can't unmake you mad. What is? How do we move forward? Yeah. What's the what's the next step of this? Some people are trash at coming something agreements. Yeah, right. for sure. I'm eating peanut butter. Oh, I love peanut butter sandwiches. Ice cream sandwich for dinner. You guys talk about what's for dinner? Oh, what's up, Kid Cliff from New York? What's happening? Well, Kid Cliff from Taylor now, right? <laughs> I was in uh, Michigan for two weeks. I miss it. No, I mean not that I miss. I miss the quietness that was there. If you don't like you, that's it. If you don't like you, that's it. What you mean, inches? Is that you can like yourself? Proper preparation for anything is Batman talent. <laughs> Debating is a skill many don't have. There's, there's, you know what? I don't know. When it, when I think about an argument in a relationship or something like that. There's there's a goal in the argument. Mm -hmm. For one, you want to be heard, right? right? You want to be heard. You want to be understood, and you want the other person to be like, okay, I, I hear what you're coming from. You probably want an apology of some sort, and then there's a thing of getting it better to resolve this thing, right? Mm -hmm. So we can fix it for the next time, right? Yeah. Those those are like essentially what people argue. A lot of people just defend. They're trying to defend their own ego and why something isn't. Yeah. This, I had to do because of this, because of that. If you would have blah blah blah, and it's like now we're arguing, and right. it's not even about what this, we're talking the about. issue. Yes, right. Yeah, and that tends to happen a lot. It gets and, personal. People get defensive quick, and the jabs is like, and you supposed if you claim to be my friend, which you clearly are not doing right, right like, now, hey, and it's like come on with the jabs, shit. dude. Like you got to know that it's 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 my speed, and, and you know, and I you you claim to to support me, but all I hear is is a lot of animosity. It's like. You talking about we're talking about practice <laughs> practice that's why it's always just like hey man you got it yeah you got it i'm not gonna say and argue with you yeah you just, got it yeah i will move on by myself accordingly right um i read it read it read it right on oh, my bed um, i just want you to say if you if i don't like you that's it <laughs> if i don't like you that's my bad clearly Need my glasses clearly. I don't argue. Uh, it already is just stressful. Yeah, it irritates me when we read, read the comments wrong. My bad, y'all. My bad. There's, they're small. Uh, a lot of arguments happen with someone just having the last word. We can have the last word. I could care less. Do we understand each other? Are we both on the same page? Yeah. You know what people don't like to do, which is the best exercise to repeat what you said, right? Yeah. If you go, yo, Chaz, I'm mad about you coming in late and not taking off your shoes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I'll be like, man, you always got something to complain about, like. Yeah, and not even talking about, yeah, nigga. 
And they even talk to It's always that. something. It's like, you walk in, it's always something, dog. And it's like, dude, I'm not even talking about always something. I'm asking, like, you you are overstepping your, my boundaries. I'm, I set up a rule, and you're not doing this. Like, yo. Remember, remember that time when you no! came by? Right. I let that go. I hate then this I let that go. Fictional argument. Nah. <laughs> I hate this. Now, because now, now you want to be mad me. about that? After all I've done, you want to be mad? We're gonna talk about this. This is this is your anger level now. Boy, I hate this argument. This is what you're you're gonna be mad about some shoes. Like some shoes. Yeah. You be mad about some shoes, bro. Right. Right. Come on, dog. I thought we better. Do you know that I'm time I, I I picked you up from this like? Yes. Did dude. I actually take your shoes off in the car? Hmm. Did I actually do that? Gosh, dude. Yeah, like it is wild. It's some people like this isn't even what we're talking about, right? This isn't even what yeah, we're talking and now about. you're thinking like, should I tackle this or should I address like, hey, that's not what we're talking about? And it's like, let's get back to this. I got to tell myself, stay focused. Yeah, stay yeah, focused right yeah. Here. We're staying right yeah. here. I got sucked in, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> and you get the people that's like, I enjoy argument, arguing, so I got to keep stacking. Yeah, some people so enjoy so, so it arguing because like it, it felt like this. <laughs> The whole time you like this. I won that one. Yeah, yeah, because it's like I'm gonna keep hitting you, so you feel like, yeah, I'm whooping your ass with these this, this facts, and it's like you're wrong with a lot of this stuff, and it's like now you're just talking in circles, and this is like now, now you got to do the whole fake like, okay, you're, you're done, <laughs> because now I gotta. You just gotta do that. I'm gonna head out, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I am not a fan of arguing, bro. It is stressful and. If it's arguing, yeah. But if it's communicating and it's going good, different different game. And it, and this all came, this argument all came from me trying to encourage somebody. As in, you got it, you should do it. I'm gonna give you a very generic version of this argument. You got it, you should do it. Stop letting fear tackle you. Don't let. Any sort of naysayers say you got it. You, you're very talented. You should do it. And it became not everybody moves as fast as you do. Um, it's my time. I move at my own pace. I hear you, but I'm not. You know, just because it worked for you, it don't work for me. And you always, you know, try to come at me at the wrong time about being. Great. Why are you talking about the conversation we had, man? <laughs> Start crying. Um, I, yeah. This yeah. is why I deal so with less people. Yeah. So that was that was the base, but it was just like it's always you're not good enough. It's like not, I, I did not say that. You're not good enough. You should be doing this. You should be doing. You should be doing this. You should be doing this. I'm like, yeah, you should. I'm like, you're really good. <laughs> I stand by that. And you and should. it's like and it's like and I was like, I can't believe we're talking about this. Was this with the woman? Yeah. You know what I found out about women? That women just want to be heard and get stuff out and vent. When we start trying to encourage and tell them stuff, mm -hmm. they, why does why does that offend women? Right. When it's like, here's the solution, here's an answer. They just want to be heard and they just want to get it all out. And you're just supposed to go, mm -hmm, I feel you. I mm -hmm. support that. Yeah. 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 I understand completely. Yeah, not a problem. No, 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 no. I don't think you're wrong at all. Right. Why? Why women? Yeah, they just want to get it all out. So what they talking? They talking about each other. Let's see. Why do you insist on using the government? Uh, Lack and chat should battle rap to solve every disagreement. Uh, Liam would murder me. Well, why you in my face? Get your ass out! Y'all hilarious. I like the name of it. Y'all ain't talking about nothing. All right, you ready? Who said this? We're gonna start another one right now. Oh. You ready? You need something? Yeah, you good? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. I got my water. Hit this record button. Yeah. Yikes. I know you didn't brush your teeth in a while. Mm. I don't brush anymore. It's like the natural way to do that. God didn't make toothpaste. Oh my gosh, bro. Please don't talk to me. You what? I just don't want to talk to you because you, you're talking about you don't brush your teeth. I don't want to smell. That's man made, bro. Everything is man made, bro. No, it's not. Everything is God made until man. Well, man is God made. <laughs> Everything is man made. Every word is made up. Yeah, that's a that Thor word. Mm -hmm. That was a sweet little snake, sneaky little jab. Every word is made up. Like, that's a made up word. Every word's made up. Good point. 
It's also funny when people say, uh, I don't know why y'all be listening to the Bible. That whole, I don't want to follow anything that's uh, uh, written by man. God didn't write that. It's like everything is written by man. <laughs> like even a cookbook. Like you're not, you're not following not. this recipe though, huh? I need only, only, I only want to follow recipes that has written by God. <laughs> Add two cups of God. <laughs> is that what you want to do? Um, man, I I went to I went to Michigan uh, for a week. Hey, yeah, it was a good time. I saw my fam I haven't seen in seven years, six, seven years. My daughter got to meet her family. Mm -hmm. uh, Just two of y'all? And my mom came. Okay. And so the three cool. of us. And then uh, you had to work. And then, uh, yeah, man, it was really, really great. It was a good time. And you know, it was crazy. It was so quiet, bro. And then when I, as soon as we got back to LAX, it was so loud. It was like, mm, 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 mm. I was like, oh, yeah. This place. So you're saying Detroit is a lot quieter? Well, you know, I was in a uh, different city. I was in Lansing. I was in Grand oh. Rapids. We went to Muskegon. First, Muskegon was cold as shit. It was off the lake. Mm -hmm. and that wind got me a little bit. Um, but yeah, it was so quiet, bro. <coughs> yeah. And then we came out here and there was so much noise. It's noisy as shit it was out like here. Two weeks, right? No, I was only gone for eight days or something like mm -hmm. that. What's happening? <coughs> if you had some water, only if I had. Um, Y'all both scared of Detroit. He did come this way. Did you? Uh, oh, did you uh, chop it up with Moyo? I did not. No, I don't, I don't kid, know if anybody kid, even kid. knew I was there. I kept it low. I didn't post a single thing. Well, I think I might have posted whatever I had clips Content. wise, but I didn't tell anybody or do anything. I just dipped, saw the homies, and then dipped back out. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh God, was it worth it? Absolutely. Now, now, we're, you know, as in like the time you were there, as in like, cause you know, you go on vacation, but. Like, because <laughs> it's like three days for any vacation is like if you don't have anything planned out no dude like, it was great me yeah. and izzy we hung out in hotels and we played video games all night we stayed up all night yeah. she she stayed up all night yeah. <laughs> we played and then uh like i said she got to see her family and my best friend and his daughters and they kicked it and they were you know it's, it was four or five and six they all hung out mm -hmm. and it was like it was great man and then it just made me really like I, I really was like, oh man, I'm at peace. Mm -hmm. It was, it was like I said, like it was like seeing. It just kind of, it just kind of just made me think of like, am I miss, am I missing out on life, to a, to a point because you know we chase this stuff right, and then it gets exhausting, and then when you when you actually get to like slow down and be quiet, like I was kind of just like, dude, I didn't realize how tired I was. Mm -hmm. Like you're just you're just exhausted, bro. Like we yeah. just we just go, and there's always something to do. Right, right. If there's not somewhere to be, if it's not some podcast, not something to edit, like you're always doing something, something. Right. And you're always writing something. You know, it's like, and and then when you don't do it, you feel away. You feel crazy. You go like, okay, this is getting away. I should be. Yeah, I should be doing this, and it's really hard to chill. Because you're just on go all the time. So I made myself do nothing. Mm -hmm. I didn't pick up a laptop. Mm -hmm. I didn't do anything but uh post what I had already, you know, yeah. edited. And um, yeah, man, I I just really thought th thinking I was like, career wise, it's gonna be hard for me to do something else, right? Mm -hmm. it's like I would probably explode if I had to do like something else other than entertain, but right. It was so nice for the for the quiet, bro. Mm -hmm. It's always, I think any vacation is worth it when you don't have to worry about money. Yeah. If, if it was like all expense paid, yeah. You know, it's not on your dime. Right. You know, it's all on my dime. <laughs> that, that makes you feel so way. Cause now you think, like, where's the money coming? Where's the new money coming from? You gotta go get that new money. <laughs> so that's what I'm always stressed on. When I was, when I last time I went back home during my dad's uh, mm -hmm. funeral. I didn't have a return flight, mm -hmm. and the whole time, just people kept blowing me up. Like, "Are you good?" Uh, <laughs> but it's also like, "I want to use your studio." And it's like, I'm not <laughs> so, so I like, I'm constantly like, "Yo, Twills, can you open up the studio?" Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, 
you want to put some money in your pockets, uh, can you edit on my laptop? Hey, Dion, is it possible? Can you shoot? I'm not there. I can't get back that way. <laughs> yeah, I got to get back to get some money. <laughs> yeah. And I, and I came out there, because this is during the holidays. Yeah. So er, nobody had, like, nobody was booking the space. Yeah. So people was like, I'm going to invest my money into presents. Man. So it was already coming. I was like, you know, dry bone. You pockets. gotta be like, if you want to get your spouse or somebody a present, get them headshots. Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> Shoot them a video right for here sure. for Christmas. You know, I had a conversation with the Twills about um, don't buy me nothing for for Christmas, birthdays, Father's Day. Just. I don't need to go to an expensive restaurant. <laughs> get some clients, get some <laughs> money. Like, oh, how much does meal cost? Two hundred fifty dollars. That money could have went to the- <laughs> <laughs> that money could have went to the DWP bill. You ever feel that way a little bit? All the time. People are like, gosh, you paid how much for this? Man, I love it one hundred percent. Just know that. My bill has been outstanding for <laughs> six months, and this could have paid it off. Also, I go like I can usually if I want something, I can go get it. If I really want something, mm-hmm. I go like I could probably buy this myself. But mm-hmm. I think like people want to get you gifts or things that you wouldn't do for yourself or you haven't. Sure, you know. Um, but yeah, especially like with restaurants, I'd be like, hey, I don't want to do all this. Mm-hmm. You can just I'm totally fine with giving it out. Yeah, and uh, surge prices. Yeah, you can wrap it, put it on a nice plate if you want. <laughs> But it is, yeah. All right, man. I was on a, I was on like a, a pizza hunt the other day. I was like, man, I'm craving pizza. And it was like everywhere it was somewhere between seventeen dollars for a pizza yeah. for a large. And I was like, yeah. Then I was like, oh, then I'm gonna add tax. They're gonna yeah. add whatever else. We're talking about twenty dollars. I was like, man, I'm little not Caesars. hungry anymore. <laughs> little Caesars it is. I heard those little cups are fire though. Yeah, they are. <laughs> you had one. I had two boxes. <laughs> Threw the mugs in like Tic Tacs. I want to try one. Yeah, they fire, bro. I gotta wait to this yeah. weekend or something. Yeah. I ate a donut today. <laughs> uh, let me see what y'all talking about. What's up, y'all? Y'all both scared of Detroit. He dealt what? He didn't come this way. I mean, I went to Romulus, but we landed. <laughs> uh, you did tell us on uh, both podcasts that you were coming to admission. Oh, okay, great. So Chaz was dodging May more. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. That's right. Don't start that rumor. Chaz. Ain't from Detroit, right? So visiting fam. No this heart story is uh, in a in a way. How far is the uh, Detroit from Lansing? An hour. An hour. Mm-hmm. I got there. I can drive there in an hour. Mm-hmm. Um, people be like an hour and a forty to fifty. No, mm-hmm. it's an hour. Yeah, drive easily. Right. Um, I used to make that drive all the time. To Detroit. Yeah. We used to go, I used to go down. There was this place called Bee's Comedy Kitchen back in the day that I used to go down to all the time. And they would shake keys at you if you weren't funny. Mm. I never got keys shaken at me. So Bee's Kitchen. And there was another spot. I remember where it was I got a, I got a great idea for a karaoke spot. Okay. Check this out. Mm-hmm. Because it's live entertainment. Okay. It would be a live band mm-hmm. at the restaurant. Now, I won't say it's a five star. We'll just say it's three, 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 four star, right? Okay. That's pretty good. Right? Mm-hmm. You will get twenty dollars off. Mm-hmm. This, this, the money is debatable, which where you want to go. Okay, twenty dollars off if you perform. Five. We went down to five. <laughs> if you perform a karaoke. Okay. okay. So now it's like you eating food. You mm-hmm. have, in order to the admission is to, you have to order food. Okay. Right? And it's like your meal. You will get twenty dollars off. Mm-hmm. So the the meal is already spike prices. Mm-hmm. It's already factored in. But Fifty dollars like, per plate, yeah. minimum. But they just. But if you don't perform, you're full price. You paying full price. Mm-hmm. So now people are like, I gotta perform. So now it's like, yeah, your turn. So now it's like a party. Mm-hmm. Now it's fun with the entire restaurant. Yeah. So what you're saying is like, and it's like in, on the table, you gotta, you know, it's like, ah, should I perform today? It's like, oh, these lobsters. You know, let me. When's that time you done karaoke? Um, at an actual venue or like just hanging out with friends and putting on TV, YouTube. Neither one. 
Uh, you, you karaoke down YouTube? Very often. Me and my daughters. Really? Very often. That's dope. Yeah. Very often. As in on her birthday. Yeah, March 22nd. I thought well, I almost did a karaoke party last year for my birthday. Yeah. But then I was like, you should do it here, man. Who was going to come, man? Let's just, do it, man. Throw yeah, your just, party here. Just keep free of charge. I appreciate you. He said, I'm not doing it. Was, was do it. I, I, I'll help you out. I'll do it a game night slash Chaz's birthday. I'm doing, I'm doing a surprise birthday party. <laughs> As you tell me. <laughs> Nobody is going to know about this. Are you like, man, I, I thought you was coming over. I'm in Michigan, man. <laughs> The funny thing is, I don't show up either. I just gave you the keys. You like this? You try to hey, cover yourself. Surprise where, where, where me! <laughs> surprise me! No yeah. one's here. Yeah. That's always my favorite for any kind of birthday thing. Like, no one's gonna come to this. Yeah, dude. <laughs> even even comedy shows, man. No one's coming, man. Don't come. And and, and it's, don't come. <laughs> because you got to say it as in no one loves. And then, and then, and then, when you get the oh wow, people actually came. They love me. This was up because it's like it's like why are people investing? They got other things they can do in their life, man. I don't, I don't want to be like, I don't want this moment to be like. I don't I'm never coming to the. I don't party. feel like I go like, hey man, here's the invitation, man. Here's here, everybody. Let me that takes you the invite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's six people. <laughs> so, so you. You a verbal person, or you gotta send out the text? Let, let's say I do both. Let's say I'm around. Hey man, by the way, throwing a big birthday bash. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I never had one in L.A. All right, Black Studio mm -hmm. on the first. Yeah, be, you coming? Oh, be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't believe it. And this is how people look at it. Oh, okay. All right, LT Studios, huh? Yeah, yeah I might know, just Dion's go place. Ahead, yeah, I might just go ahead and swing through with that, man. Mm -hmm. How you been, bro? You change something real quick. Yeah. I'm not coming, give me the flyer back, bro. I told you here, he had something downtown. I was like, I'm not going to that. The one in Burbank, I'll be there. Yeah, downtown, yeah. not happening. Yeah, yeah, I, I went to that one. <laughs> that it was one. on my birthday. Nothing downtown. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was. On your birthday. Yeah, it was on Did you pretend it was, they were like, Happy birthday? You're like, <laughs> It was funny. Is I was like, Are we here to celebrate to you? And Diaz, <laughs> he did that for me, though. He That's did that for me. It was funny. Again, the funny thing is, we it's a lot of comedians who have our birthdays around the same time. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think it's uh, me, Ranji, Naeem, mm -hmm. CP. Uh, it's a lot of us with the same birthday. I was like, I, it, it'd be dope to all of us like rent out like a yacht. Mm, that's a big part. And, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And like some of our birthdays all, all all within a week. Yeah. And we're just like, this is our birthday, Pisces season. That's dope. You know? Yeah. But it'd be like a lot of mixed different crowds. But who's that person? Who's he? <laughs> Oh. I don't know if I know enough Libras to get together. Cocaine. <laughs> Would y'all come if I invited you? Y'all coming? Uh, it makes a drive work often. Uh, signing to save his life from this year's night. Okay. I'll sing multiple songs. It is $5 each. Eh. Uh, I hate singing in front of people. Why? So I need more money or more drink to sing. Send an invite. An event bright, not a paper invite. An mm -hmm. event bright. Uh, oh, who said that about what, the five man? Moyo, you want me to get that deal? What's your uh, what's your go to karaoke song? Have we talked about this before. My go to karaoke song. Yes, we talked about it numerous times. Oh, we did. I don't have any. Oh, what's your song? Oh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. Some kind of Cisco, Drew thong, Hill. Man, what are we doing? Song, it? Thong song. The thong song. <laughs> Every single time. Um, but my my song that I would love to perform. But they never have it. Is is uh, somebody sleeping in my bed remix? Oh, the remix. Yeah. Okay. If you want to dance? You can make you dance. I feel like the thong song is a good bad song, mm -hmm. right? Like it's yeah. a lot of energy. Dun, 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 mm -hmm. Starts off hot, but it also feels like it's really long. It, well, like longer than it seems. But I I just perform. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> and I'm like. Dun, 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 the build up at the end. Dun, I'm like, it's like you see, you hear it coming. Yeah, <laughs> baby, the phone. There it is, right there. But cause I like the way <laughs> he was killing the end. <laughs> he was killing the end of that song. Baby, your thigh, your breast, 
know me. Oh, please tell me, baby, how. Oh. <laughs> he was killing that. I don't think they heard me. He was killing the ad libs, bro. <laughs> he was in there like, forget the first verse. Yeah, yeah. It's all about yeah, the end, yeah. bro. He brought it home. Yeah, yeah. That song was hot for like four years, bro. Nigga. Crazy. Crazy. It's it's a terrible song. <laughs> but I don't know why people ding, get so ding, excited. Ding, ding. And the thing is, it, it wasn't a booty. It was the thong. The thong song. I want to see your thong. Yeah. And then just this part was awful. Thong, the thong, thong, thong. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if I heard a worse <laughs> dong, 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 dong. <laughs> this is terrible. She got dumps like a truck, truck, truck. You know what sucks is he said he got just, he hates to perform the song now because of the thing with Ricky Martin. What thing? Oh, I love that I got to tell you this. I love that I get to tell you this. <laughs> what thing with I Ricky love Martin? I love that I get to tell you this. So, you know, when you do puns of songs, <laughs> And you said exactly like the original artist. Mm-hmm. They become an artist. Mm-hmm. They a become writer, a writer right? of the uh-huh. song. So when he said, because she was living the vida loca. Dang. <laughs> so his biggest song of, of that he wrote, he has to give a portion to. So Ricky gets my <laughs> publishing. Because <laughs> they got to a huge like court situation. And they got to like an argument. Now, he probably had no idea. He was probably like, what? I didn't, I didn't even know I, you had to do that. No idea, and he's like, I don't. I, he's like to the he's like to the point. I wanted to like not perform the song again because he's like, he was he, he lawyered up on me. I wonder how much percentage of it does he get? Yeah, yeah. And Bruno Mars song, um, um, what is it? Don't believe it, just watch. Mm-hmm. Too bad. Mm-hmm. What is it? Uh-huh. I can't even lose that uh, What is that song called? Golden, I mean, uh, uh, Golden, uh, what's it called? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that song and, and, and 24 Carat. I'm like, Golden. I don't think it's 24 Carat. <laughs> yeah, it, it is, isn't it? I don't think it's 24 Wait a minute. Carat. I think it might be Uptown Funk You Up. Oh. Yes, Uptown, Uptown Funk You Up. Funk You Up. Yeah. Uptown Funk You Up. Uh-huh. Uh, so he has to pay. Uh, he has to pay uh, Trinidad James for that uh, gold all of my ring. Oh, really? Gold all of my thing. Don't believe me? Just watch, <laughs> nigga, nigga, nigga. Don't believe me? Just watch. So that part right there. Dang. Don't believe? Me, just watch. Dang. He made him a writer of that song <laughs> just for that part. <laughs> Don't believe me? Just watch. It's the same way he said it. Wow. I just be like, man, take this song off all streaming platforms. I'm not paying you a goddamn thing. Never know. We're not doing this ever again. Take the song off. Take it off. You got to be petty as hell. Whatever your biggest song. <laughs> no like, one's, no one's I don't making, want you. No to one's get making it. a dollar. Especially if you want too much money. <laughs> I don't know how you want thirty <laughs> percent for one line. It's the hardest part. No, it's not. It's the hook. Trinidad James is like, I never got working. <laughs> I made that one song and man, that's crazy, bro. Yeah. Why do you ask then the discredit when we give you the answer? Which answer are you talking about? That interpolation gets gets them every time. Interpolation. Is that are you referencing them using the, the words? The interpolation? 24 Karen and Uptown Funk are two different songs. But yeah, that's crazy, but genius. Never doubt my Bruno knowledge. Oh boy. <laughs> I wonder, man, if like if you do stand up, right? And somebody uses some line from your song, can you get credit as a writer? Yeah, that's crazy. Like I remember uh Red Man hits the uh this shit here, nigga, this shit here, nigga, called Death Squad, mm-hmm. you know? And I was like, Oh, I wonder if Cat Williams could be like, I don't need that. Oh, wow. Also, can you sample a comedian and use them as your joke? As in, like, you know how like you know rappers can sample old songs, mm-hmm. and like, you know, like 
So you know, like you know, uh, ask about me, nigga. Ask about me. Mm -hmm. uh, bring them out. Bring them mm -hmm. out. The time that so if it's like oh Ti was like I like that I like that if I was just like it's like I love black people I hate me a nigga <laughs> and it's like I love a peck of wood I love a white person uh -huh. so it's like I'm remixing it and it's like isn't that Chris Rock like, no that's I just sampled it. no I just, I just, I just, I just he's still the jokes yo I sampled the premise <laughs> that's all it's completely different it's completely different I made it my own. Well, on, on a premise, if you have somebody else's premise, are you stealing their joke? Um, there's it's almost difficult to not have the same premise. Mm -hmm. Almost difficult. Mm -hmm. Like if I'm just like, man, gas prices is crazy. That's a premise. <laughs> mm -hmm. Everyone has a gas price joke. Mm -hmm. Uh, my I don't like my wife. <laughs> that is a premise mm -hmm. that a lot of guys have. Right. And lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> But you know you can't say, "Hey man, this nigga stole my." That's my premise. <laughs> <laughs> what if somebody stole the punchline, but they didn't connect with the premise? It, it was just ran a it whole like, random punchline. Is this my punchline? It was like it is, but it's it's not the same premise. But it's my punchline. <laughs> it had nothing to do with whatever you were talking about two seconds ago. I was at a, a bodega down the street. They had this tuna salad. I was like, "Yo, I want bacon, egg, and cheese." And they had said. More like Tyrannosaurus Rex. Like, hey, that's my punchline, man. You know my dinosaur joke. I know, right? I it, love that punchline, bro. I love I, it, man. I'm just sampling it. I'm just, I'm just sampling. I know, I know, brother. Let me have this, man. If you did, I wonder if you did a comedy special. If somebody did your joke, can you sue them? But you do get publishing when you release comedy albums. It is publishing. Mm. You got to register with like ASCAP and shit like that. Mm. So I wonder if you could sue. Mm -hmm. Or somebody uses like a portion of your. You have to have to be able to get. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Were you around when I did the the joke about I want to be the D boy of comedy? Yeah, that's my joke. Now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I'm like it's both. Of them. I've heard that. <laughs> so I was. Like, I want to be. I want to be so scared. I'm not doing this for you. Right. But I was like, I want to be the D boy. Come walk around like, oh shit, come down. <laughs> It's like, hey, what's up, Dion? What's going on, man? But you got my jokes. Like, I got nothing. You got something. <laughs> one spot, like, what are you doing, man? Like, I got this nice show. I got this nice show. <laughs> it's like, shit. Great. So that was the whole joke. All right. So, so I'm not saying niggas has stolen anything, but I see this this clip going around mm -hmm. of that entire bit as mm -hmm. you actually act out. This Acted is somebody out. you know. Yes. Yes, but at the same time, I haven't did this joke in freaking 10 years. Um, so, and, and I was like, huh? Who was it? Just, yeah, I, just I, whisper it. No, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not putting it on wax. Just whisper it, nobody may hear it. No, I'm not putting it on wax. But I, I definitely uh, uh, sent it to a few of my friends who knew about it, and mm. I was just like, uh, does it look familiar? And they was like, yo, that's crazy. Mm. Um, is it somebody I know? Yeah. Will we consider them friends? Uh, kind of like remember uh, people we used to hang out with. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. And yeah, Cedric and Cat different premise, uh, same punchline. Wasn't what was like, what was the difference between their premise? That was the spaceship joke and the Cadillac, or him? him I, I feel like that was the same premise. It's same punchline. What's the joke? You know them too? Oh, yeah. No, I don't know the other dude. I know the dude on the right. Mm -hmm. I know the dude on the left. Which one, dude on the left or dude on the right? Oh, dang. <laughs> <laughs> He's supposed to get credit to as being a great writer. Yeah. Yeah. So when I saw it, I was like, oh, and it was wild is uh, they, they put some money behind it. Mm. As in, so it's being like ran, like as a oh, sponsor. They put an ad behind it? Yeah. <coughs> well, you got got. Yeah, it's, all good. it's not all good. You should say, "Yo, that looks real familiar, bro." Mm -hmm. <laughs> you stealing ass. I hate uncreative people, bro. Huh? I hate uncreative people. But it's not. You don't know, man. It's it's not a. It's not so. 
it's a genius joke, but at the same time, um, it can happen. It's having a, a perfect analogy and just like this. Okay, all right. People suck, bro, and they're so quick to just steal an idea. Mm. And I've seen it on different levels too, bro. What you like? What you gonna do it? Name? Are you okay, Mike? Yeah. What was that from? I've, I've the depths of the of, bowels. A lot of vegetables in my body. Uh, did you hear the thing about how smoothies aren't healthy? Yeah, Nick Cannon. No, I didn't see Nick Cannon. It was it was somebody on Nick Cannon's plat- platform that said, "Yeah, it's better if you just eat the vegetables." Oh, that might have been the same lady. It was a lady? No, it was a guy. Oh, I saw a lady saying it. Yeah, she was just like, "When you have this smoothie, it's a lot of sugar all that one time, mm-hmm. and your body doesn't get a chance to digest it so immediately because your body does this when it has an influx of blood." And I said, "I don't know if any of this is true or not." I still enjoy it. I was like, this might be a thing, mm-hmm. but I was like, they're going to discredit everything that we think is healthy. It's always going to be something else. Mm-hmm. Uh, you should post your old joke and comment on his and praise him on the originality. <laughs> you don't have a recording anywhere, huh? Um, I got to find the tapes. Yeah, I got to find it. I, I know I have it recorded somewhere, but it's, you know. Yeah, I, I, I love that bit. As in like, because it, it, it wasn't, it, the, the joke was... I remember a guy who came up to me and was like, yo, man, I got a joke similar to that, man. Um, I'm glad we're not in the same city. This is a real story. I'm not I'm glad we're not in the same city, man, but you know what I'm saying? It's very similar, but yours is is, is much fire. And I said, it took everything in me to be like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I stole it from you, nigga. <laughs> and then I was like, yeah. I was like, but I didn't. Uh, but I was like, I, I was like, what if, what if I was the D boy of comedy? Like, I, I purposely, I was that terrifying around the comedy community that people will start hiding their jokes around me, oh, right. and it was just like, yo, uh, you say you see a nigga on stage, I'm like, yeah. So, uh, so for those who don't know, I got the comedy, st- I, I got a Tonight Show coming up, and so I was like, damn, like, what? <laughs> he was like, oh, I gotta go, and he's like, no, nah, no, nah, keep going. <laughs> You see me in the background holding. I, I got the light. You ain't get no light. Turn the light off. <laughs> Run your set again. Do you, do you know what you do? <laughs> Start from the beginning. I caught the telly. <laughs> uh, so I just got a cat. Yeah, I just got a cat. He's saying it as you say. Yeah, say it exactly as it is. And uh, his name is Mister Whiskers. Mister Whiskers. Mr. Whiskers. Yeah, yeah. I'll zap it. <sighs> okay. They'd have a picture of like at every comedy club. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so watch out for him. Women Ooh, be shopping. Boo. Women be shopping. Women do be shopping. <laughs> Women do be shopping. Where the ladies at? Ladies make some noise. What is, what is your go-to when your joke don't work? Um, let's just do a random punchline, and this is what you can hear at the end. Go for it. Yeah, man. And I was like, "Who's playing basketball?" Yeah, man. So my daughter's five. <laughs> Who got kids? Straight to it. Yeah, yo, kids is nuts, right? I mean, dang. You know what I don't like about my kid? Yeah, actually, what I do like about my kid. My kid has. I know I'm not the type of person when you're trying to find it. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm not the. What'd you say? <laughs> Did y'all know what you say? Hey, man, do your jokes, man. No, I thought. No, I thought you was talking to me, dog. We all good. We... I mean, we can all hear you. You're not on TV, right? <laughs> I, I tell trying you, to find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what y'all do? Yes, yeah, y'all want to talk. <laughs> Let me tell you how I set myself up and gave my crowd ammunition. No oh boy. I said, I said, I absolutely. I don't know why I did this, and a black room. Mm-hmm. And I said. I want to see how it feels if I came on stage. Well, <laughs> thinking about it now, I was like, I was the same thing. I said, I love awkward silence, man. I want to see how it feels if the host gave me high energy and I walk on stage, y'all gave me nothing. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. So I was like, oh, yo, all the way from Dayton, Ohio. Let's give a warm, rousy, good applause for D.I. Lack. And I walked up, stayed up, and I came back on stage. I was like, and they, they kind of laugh because mm-hmm. like this is awkward. Mm-hmm. And I was like, "Hey, I don't love me at all." And they laughed at that. No, then I was like, "That was like, I love how the speakers uh, be booing 
comedians when they do bad. They're like, yo, so I came in with a chem, you know, camouflage hat, and she was like, no, that's tuna fish. <laughs> and he tried to adjust the mic, <laughs> and then it, it kind of got like. <laughs> and then and then I did then I kind of went to my set. Somebody said, <laughs> oh, I, I was like, no. And then it was like, and then, and then another joke was kind of weak. Mm. And then it said, there's your awkward silence. I like, <laughs> Shit! I gave them, and I said, I gave y'all ammunition. Right. Yeah. So I was, I was like, I'm never doing that. I'm never setting myself up. <laughs> uh, Chad's asking for real life quick words. Say, yeah. Once you start doing kids stuff, everybody, you got to go into something that everybody can relate to immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, Who got kids? People clap. Woo! <laughs> Kids, man. Be a whole bunch of nuns. <laughs> <laughs> Who loves uh, their Savior, Jesus, Lord, Lord Christ? Yeah, the class. Yeah. Woo, Jesus, man. Be married to him is a hassle, right? <laughs> Hell, that guy. Whew. Always like, drink my blood. What's with this guy? Yeah. Huh? Anybody? Yeah. You in the back? I thought early in doing comedy, I thought it was a cookie cutter sort of all sets fit for all, you know, all rooms, all rooms, and audience mm. and crowds. That's his naughty thing. There, there was. I was asked to do a church, uh, <clears throat> a ch- sermon, Christian sort of. I don't mm. know how they sold it to me. It was like uh, this is a synagogue, synagogue. I don't know what they call it. Um, I don't want to give the punchline away, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to because I don't know the name of the building. Okay, Scientology building. Okay, what is it called? Scientologists? I don't, I don't know. You know, you know, like Joe Witness, they say the, the hall. The, the hall. Oh, okay. So know. I don't know what it was. So I, I looked it up and it was like, oh, this is a church. Mm-hmm. So I can give my church bit. Mm-hmm. So w- when I went, all my jokes were Christian, Jesus. Mm-hmm. And they don't believe me any of that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they don't believe any of that. So I'm doing stuff like, yeah, I went to this black church. And you know, doing a whole like you know, the black church is you mm-hmm. know, white folks they be like blue, blue skies and rainbows <laughs> and sunbeams from there. <laughs> Speaking of, that is another joke that was kind of bit for me. Right. Now that I think about it, I have a joke. Now, now that I think about it, I'm, I'm saying same this, person. No, the, the the guy we were talking about earlier. No, oh, yeah, in the coming. kitchen. And I was like, I oh. have, yeah. So I was like, I was like, white churches, they're like, they love Jesus, very mm-hmm. calm. Mm-hmm. Like blue skies and <laughs> rainbows mm-hmm. and sunbeams from heaven. Oh, make things. Is this a real song? Through. Yes. When Lord Jesus comes to me, I know that Jesus is well and alive today. Where did you hear this song from? My dad. Uh, we went to a uh, church of. Uh, I've never heard church this of song. Christ. Uh-huh. Church of Christ. It was a white church? Yeah. And that was a song they had? And I was like, this song is cool. <laughs> it was very poppy. And, and I remember that song that I was like, I absolutely <laughs> love how cheesy this song is. That's and then, uh, and then, and I was like, well, black churches? If you don't get up off your feet right now and praise God right mm-hmm. now, you don't love Jesus? Mm-hmm. When I think about it, I was like, I'm just thinking about this right now. Yeah. That I just heard this uh, yeah. the same bit mm-hmm. on uh, TV. And now you're like. And I, I just, I mean, it's not. I did this in 2001, two. Yeah. You know, I'm not still doing it. But I just thought about like this was on eight. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Call the praise stream today. Kind of. Two syllables. Research. Did you give Jesus a middle name? Jesus, Lord Christ. That's his middle name, right? Lord, oh, huh? Lord Jesus. It's Lord Jesus. That's not Jesus' middle name, Lord. Come on. Um, I I like to uh, if I'm ever bombing, right? If or if it's just not going well, I've always got to be like, uh, who went to work? Right. We got to do one of those. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who went to work today? Oh mm-hmm. uh, man, you just hopping a bit, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you got, you got, you got. It's just always mm-hmm. who got kids, mm-hmm. who went to work, uh, jokes, who, who's on date night. Hey man, get with your jokes. That's bro. what I do. That's that, all I need is a clap. Yeah. Who's on date night? Yeah, down to date. How long you been together? 
right? Mm-hmm. Get one of those. Mm-hmm. Oh man, y'all soulmates or so far mates. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta talk to somebody directly. Yeah, I got yeah, like, like, how'd you feel about that joke, bro? It wasn't, it wasn't, <laughs> you don't know, like it? I see you get your arms folded. I gotta do something like that to talk to this person directly. What's, what's your name, bro? Mm-mm, I don't. That person was not laughing. Don't talk to them at all. Yeah. Anybody? Hell no. Wish I did different. I'll, all I I won't even do that. Mm-hmm. No, you just no. keep in hell, nah. No. And I, you know that one person be not laughing. Mm-hmm. I just I don't look at them the rest of the show. No. Well, fuck you, then. I just keep on going. It's, it's, I'm everybody else who's laughing. I'm talking to mm-hmm. y'all. Mm-hmm. I'll never give that person the attention. Yeah. Just keep on. I going. need to practice slowing down. Mm-hmm. As in, what are you looking at, dog? What are you doing? I keep. I was like, is is that box cracked or my mirror cracked? Why? Why are you? you yeah, I see it, but I keep. It's bothering me. Like I hate that. I'm like, what do you? What do you seeing that we got to run think from? I think it's the box because it's double. It wouldn't have been double if it's nothing to do with jokes. It's yes, like, because I'm like, who broke my mirror? Like, <laughs> I was like, what do you see? I was in. I was we gotta in, get out of here. I was on crowd. I was in the crowd. Um, no nah, man, you know what's funny too is that when you when you uh resuscitate a bomb into a laugh, mm-hmm. you feel so proud of yourself. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, dog, I fought back. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? The audience was like not having it. Like, mm-hmm. You feel like you really did some real work. Mm-hmm. You get off, you salute. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it was like so. You really I, did I so. wish you were there. We wasn't even recording when Daddy issues. Mm-hmm. Um, and I feel like they wanted to take the joke. But I was like, I'm never going to do this on stage. Mm-hmm. Um, but we we're talking about and ones. I was like, the reason why Tim Duncan is not as great as Kobe is because Tim Duncan is super chill. And Kobe was loud. They got literally the same status across. Mm-hmm. If Tim Duncan was that nigga, mm-hmm. that's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. That's how you do it. You know, if he was that person, he would be a lot louder than Kobe. Mm-hmm. So, so, and then DC or Craig was like, we, yeah, one of y'all should do that on stage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, y'all do a joke and then uh, the joke don't work, and then you be like, and you re, and you, re, you I said something like, uh, um, so y'all should do it on stage. And I gave him an example of like, um, uh, you know, yeah. So my car f- fell apart, and uh, my car hit my barbecue, my my barbecue grill. And it was like, and it turned into an Optimus Prime rib. <laughs> Boom! And one, nigga! And one! It was something like that. Like, like you know, you kind of like, you you thought it was a bomb. Right. It was like, nigga, and one! I dare whoever follows me. The, <laughs> like, like an arrogant comedian. Like, what? Yeah. Who wants up? That was funny. And then he was like, I, he was like, you should do it on stage, man. I was, like, I was like, I would never be that arrogant. <laughs> but whoever followed me, nigga, you will... <laughs> No one would like you. No one would like you. Like no an and one, you. nigga. That's <laughs> like, I told you, nigga, I'm the GOAT. I just like Jesus. <laughs> can you be a can you be a, a goaded comedian? Mm-hmm. As in like doing the same shit, like <laughs> doing this after every joke. <laughs> after every joke, putting a crown on is hilarious. Oh. <laughs> so do, <laughs> and and, <one>. and laughs. <laughs> so, and laughs. And laughs. Because <laughs> it's like, and it's like you on the ground on your back, like. <laughs> Y'all didn't even see that punch on all the things. Y'all didn't even see it. I hit him with the hizzy. Y'all thought I was going. Y'all the, thought, hezzy, the hezzy joke. Y'all thought I was. Y'all thought the joke was a over? A hero joked. <laughs> Filet with the left. <laughs> no. Follow that, nigga. It's like y'all stage, follow that. Brandon Lewis makes me think of the Anne one roast week. I can see that. Um, no, but the arrogant comedian would be garbage. <laughs> so bad for whoever's next. But All it, right, y'all. So bad for whoever has to follow that. I think nigga, give me the mic. <laughs> but movie, it's not like he's bombing. What if he's actually killing them? That's great. Yeah. I would still be like, move, dog. Yeah. Like, no one's gonna make this crowd laugh with yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then whatever was like, he wasn't as good as the last guy. He really was the goat. He should have been closing. 
<laughs> people, I'm sure people really think that when they get off though. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody follow that. I just crush. Ain't nobody follow that. Ain't nobody gonna follow that right there. Mm-hmm. People are good weird. Luck, people are weird, bro. Has mm-hmm. somebody ever said good luck to me afterwards? <laughs> I have a problem. <laughs> good luck following that. <laughs> what? You think you're the best community I follow? Get your ass out of here. I remember, man, I was at the Ha Ha once, and uh, this cat Will Savince and uh, Will Savince and Sean Wayne's went up. But Sean is a great stand up comedian, Mm -hmm. by the way. I had no idea until he ripped that piece, and then Mm -hmm. I had to follow him. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And I was like, all right, well, this is where you get tested, bro. I held my own. No one left. Mm -hmm. I had a good set. Um, But also, I was like, damn, I don't want to have to follow this. Mm -hmm. Right. But that's a part of doing stand up in LA. Yeah. Is you are gonna follow some monsters, some mm-hmm. giants. You're gonna just have to just be like, all right. I was sandwiched falls in between Chris I don't Tucker. Think you need a sandwich. I don't think you need a pause. Let's be honest. I don't think you need a pause. Now, go ahead. I was sandwiched in between Chris Tucker and Dave Chappelle at the last. <laughs> uh, uh, Chris Spencer was hosting, and he was like. I got it. He, he has to get up on out of here, man. So we're going to throw him up real quick. Just give it up for Chris Tucker, y'all. And then he gets the form. Yeah, crazy. And this was, this was Wah! right after rush hour two, maybe. <laughs> so it went crazy. And he just did a bunch of, you know, thank y'all for supporting the film. And, you know, he did a bunch of jokes about that. Mm-hmm. And then it was like, oh, I got to follow this nigga. And then I went up and it was like a maybe first impressions or something. Mm-hmm. Like that. So I had like a quick three. That's good. Yeah. But then it was like, oh, we got another surprise guest, man. <laughs> it did. It did. And then my boy Kyle was like, you do realize that you just opened up for us. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you just opened up for uh, Dave Chappelle. Put that on your resume. Yeah. Opened up for Dave Chappelle. Um, slapping butts after a great punchline <laughs> might get awkward, but y'all should try it out. <laughs> That's why I pause no Diddy. I'm not with the no Diddy thing, man. Although you did choose Diddy over Dre. Both of them got remember we were tricky about whose music is better. That's what you're doing. That's what you did. You it back up. That's what you did. You gotta take that. I gotta go back and show the clip of you supporting Diddy and all his actions. <laughs> Dion Lack is a Diddy <laughs> supporter. Not arrested, man. He's not accused of anything yet. I'm not accused. Why do they? Do you know why they raided his place? Yes. What happened? What so, were they looking for? Allegedly, uh-huh. there's a dude named Little Rod. Little Rod. Little Rod. No uh-huh. pun intended. Uh-huh. Um, he said there was a lot of sexual advances with um, Diddy. Mm-hmm. But also, there was a whole situation what happened on the yacht, allegedly, with his sons who was forcing some woman to have sex with him. Mm-hmm. And it was Did drugs, it was guns, it was on camera, it was filmed. It was a bunch of, like, evidence. Mm-hmm. And and I think it, you know, it's proof that it's happened. They got it filmed. They mm-hmm. filmed it here. Something along the lines of, like... I, I've overheard someone's, you know, I have the facts of this. Yeah. And I wasn't like studying it. I was kind of like, it was a lot of evidence. Like, okay, we got to, if this is evidence, we got to, we got to rate it. Yeah. But I heard something like his, his son was um, trying to rape a woman mm-hmm. and they filmed it. Mm-hmm. And so they're not looking for Diddy. I mean, Little Rod is still saying that Diddy sexually assaulted him. Somehow, he probably did. What, what? What do y'all see with Diddy? That's like he looks like a type of person that would have sex with men. I just think that when those accusations come out, is, is anybody surprised anymore? If somebody came out as gay, you're gonna be like, "Oh, I didn't see that. I didn't see that one coming." Yeah. I go like, "There's so many dudes who come out as gay, and that there's no surprise." If anybody ever came out, I'm never gonna be surprised. I'm like, "That's the manliest man I've ever seen." Hmm. You just go like. And man, if somebody was like, yo, Diddy had all these wild parties and he was smashing dudes, I'm like, I've heard those same stories of Richard Pryor. You hear these stories from a ton of people. Right. 
You know what I mean? I was like, yeah. it's it's one of those things. It's like that whole sex and drugs and rock and roll stuff. You go like, these could be wild on the road. It, it, what's, what's crazy is Hollywood is very secretive mm-hmm. because Loose Lips has never accidentally came out. You heard like Diddy's parties be crazy. Right. But it's not like, I can hit this podcast. I'll tell you what this. <laughs> It, people have been very, unless it's like an NDA when you walk, when you first walk in. Right, right. And then what sucks is when somebody comes out there, it's like, well, I, I told you, remember I told you in private? Now it's time for me to let it go because, and at this point. I've been telling you about them. Yeah. At this point, I want to jump on the bandwagon. I work with Diddy twice. And I want to be like, you know what? Since we're offering money, and I'm not saying to, to ruin the allegations, <laughs> But I work with him on making the band. Mm. And I might just jump on this making the bandwagon. <laughs> oh, uh, making a bandwagon is a great show, by the making way. Making the bandwagon, or making the band. Making a bandwagon. <laughs> just be a very funny yeah. spoof. Oh, oh, oh! oh. Uh, we doing, we doing allegations? Okay, cool. Well, he, uh, he, he had me in the head like a dairy queen. Making a bandwagon is bad, though. <laughs> There's no real look to it. I'm never surprised to hear anyone that's in the rainbow community. Yeah. Yeah, man. I just go like, like I think I read something today that Dwight Howard officially came out. I don't I don't know if that's real or not, but I go like who who's being like not Dwight Howard? Who would have ever thought? Now we know what was on the white stuff on Howard. Oh boy. Oh, all right. <laughs> uh, lackey, punny lack, lackey. Um, yeah, man. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what they're looking for, Diddy. But I didn't really check out it. I didn't really look into the whole uh, J Cole Kendrick thing. I don't really dive into like this. All seems like just gossip and stuff to me. Mm-hmm. I'm not a big gossip guy. Yeah, um, and also there's, there's a lot of things to unpack here. Are you Team Kendrick or Team J Cole before this, before any of the rap beef came out? I'm Team both. Who would you, if if they say here's two albums, which one do you put in first? Probably Good Kid, Mad City. I think I I feel like that's Kendrick's best album. Come on, discography. Good Kid, Mad City. I'm all J Cole's music, all Kendrick's music. You said which one do I put in first? Yeah, Good Kid, Mad City. Okay, I ain't know if you're doing the album versus the album. Like his first album was this. Movie. Oh, whose discography? All like together? if you had J Cole's discography, oh, and J, like who would you like? I'm collecting this one. <sighs> Maybe because there's only two Kendrick albums I really like. So maybe J Cole's discography, mm-hmm. but I need his Friday Night Lights mixtape. Mm, that was fire. Yeah, I need yeah. that one, and then. His first album was good. You can keep Bornstein. I didn't like it. Uh, Forest Hills Drives, beautiful masterpiece. Mm-hmm. The other ones, KOD, whatever. For Your Eyes Only, whatever. His last one was really good. Might delete later. Yeah. Um, you know what? You, when it comes to music, I want to be taking on a journey. I like storytellers. I like wordplay. Mm-hmm. Every person who listens to music has their own standards of rap. Right. I like storytelling. I like puns. I like metaphors. Mm-hmm. I like asinine. I like wordplay. You know how you dance with music. Mm-hmm. How you have you know chemistry with your artists. Who you featuring with? Right. Kendrick is very poetic mm-hmm. to the point you gotta be like slow down. What? <laughs> like is I it, it it's it's art. Right. It's very artsy. You know, it's it's like it's like a mystical slash DMX slash Eminem, and it's like and it's like you you don't know he's gonna start barking, he's gonna start humming. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. It's the size of the thing. Yeah. So it's like and it's like what does this mean? It's like chants, and it's like yes, it's it's beautiful, it's an art, but it's like sometimes you're like I just want I, just, I don't want to really really dive into what are you talking about? I don't want to Google. I don't want to have to do research to your music. What does this song mean? <laughs> what are you referencing? Yeah. So it's just like, you know, it's he, I, I've always been straightforward 
just give me the music. I don't, I don't want to do the research. But I, at the end, I get the art of Kendrick. I mm. get it. It's beautiful. It's like it's it's little like Mona Lisa. So you gotta look at it like, hmm, this was done all in. I feel like Kendrick movie, uh, his albums are like like Good Kid, Mad City. It's one of my favorite albums of all time. Uh-huh. Great album. The other ones I go like, like Damn is really good also. But the other ones I'm kind of always like, it seems like a movie that like I watched one time. Mm-hmm. I'm like, man, that was a great movie. I'm just see it again. You want to <laughs> see? It. I don't see. It's three hours long. Yeah. <laughs> Rick, I, Rick, I, I, a dream right here. Yeah, I saw it. No, no, no. no. What would you think about that? Great performance. Mm-hmm. Great thing. Yeah. Like I never go back. Right. He's got about two albums. I like even, but even probably three because even that Big Steppers one. I haven't yeah. been back to it since I first heard. Right. It. So I can't right. tell you a, a you know a single song on there that mm-hmm. I'm in like this one. Right I like here. the arguing. One. Yeah. I mean, very, very in '95 too. Yeah, very smart. I just go like I haven't been back. Mm-hmm. But there's a Cole album too. Like I'm like I haven't been back. Right. Um, yeah. Um, Did you put the butterfly slept on? Slept on in general. I, I didn't like that album at all. Just like two or three songs I went back to on Two Kumpa mm-hmm. Butterfly. King Kunta, All Right, and there was something else. All the singles? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And Kendrick don't have normal songs. It's like, I think the most normal song he has is Mom and the Man, the Man, the Man, do you love me? <laughs> Cause it had like a hook, right? Chorus, and he rapped. I want to be, I want to be, and then possibly uh, poetic justice with Drake. Great, song. it's very formatic. It's like this doom, is a doom, doom. Yeah. that's a great song. Yeah, it's very formatic, and it's like, but all his other songs, you'd be like, where's the chorus at? Right, I'm like he did the chorus at the end, <laughs> and like it, <laughs> he'd be saying stuff like, I kind of feel like we're living the life right now. Whether you can let this, you can let this, you can let this tree you can this. And smell the gift of God's nature. I've just been like, what <laughs> are you talking about, Kendrick? Uh, K. Dot first album stands up to what Cole album hit for hit. I probably choose Kendrick over Cole. Storytelling music has come a long way. Uh, Big Steppers is nice. Yeah. Because like I said, Big Steppers is one of those ones that go like, great play. Mm-hmm. That's a great movie. Yeah. I signed it. That's what God feels like. Swimming pools, money trees. I hate swimming pools. That's the worst song on the album. Damn! I just listened to it the other day. We were talking about it. And Damn. Swimming pools, not that it's a bad song. It's the worst song on the album to me. I go like, every other song is killing. The theme is killing. Swimming pools, I go like, this is bottom tier on the album. Really? I remember it was a fun little chorus. How'd it go again? Sure. Uh, pour up. Drink. Drink up. Mav up. Drink. Bag up. Drink. Yeah. Yeah. Jake. Yeah. It's, it's, it's when you go back, it's, 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 it's not even the, the best song on the album. That's a different one. Bad that's dog. Not, where you from? That not, one? That's not the same song? Uh uh-uh. uh. Where is you see where you from, my nigga? Dippy, dippy, dip. What you say, my nigga? That one? Yeah. Let me take your trip, right? Let me lane. Let me double. Yeah, 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 that album, bro, is fire. Mm-hmm. Even going back, I said, hey, man, everything but that song is mm-hmm. killer. Right. Not that it's a bad song. Mm-hmm. It's just the worst one out. Wow. But his album is better than J. Cole's first album. It's crazy. You know what I don't like that no one's talking about? Mm-hmm. It should be a lot louder, especially from you. For me? Yes. What? Since he's from Michigan, mm-hmm. no one talks about Big Sean, man. Well, Big Sean don't get no love, man. He should be in the conversation, man. They should be cycling out who's the big three with this little generation, man. Big Sean is Come on, extremely man. talented. Down. Slow down, man. Before you even yeah, – just, just slow down. Why? What Tell me about? a bad no, Big no. Sean. Big Come Sean on. was extremely talented. Let's talk about it. Big Sean's first album, I was already probably too old, and I go like, oh, this is, this is young teenage <laughs> stuff. I, I could care less. As he got older, I said, hey, now you got some shit I can relate yeah, to. But yeah. his rap style is great. I, he don't need But a, his rap style is great? Yeah. Like you say but and say it's positive. What do you mean? When people say but, it's usually negative. Why would a but be? That's not what but means. But is mean. never positive. What are you talking about? Dude, I love you, but you know what's coming after that. <laughs> what are you talking about? But doesn't have to be positive. I mean, negative. But is always the opposite. I love you, but. Right? You ain't gonna say I love you, but I want to marry you. <laughs> it's never a positive thing. What do you mean? Why can't it? Any type of did I say this wrong? Cause you said, "Hey, man, Big Sean can rap, 
But I said, you better not say no but. No, I said his rap style is amazing. But? But I'm not a huge fan of his first album. Is that the negative you're looking for? Why don't you like Big Sean? I, I like Big Sean. I like him way more now than when he first came out. When he first came out, I was like, mm, he's not really for me. But as he got older, I was See? like, what? But the opposite. But as I got a, as I got older, I liked him more. Mm -hmm. I don't understand what you all Anytime about. Anytime you say about. but, it's always in opposition to your first your, your your first premise. What does that guy do with what I'm talking That's about? That's how you structure sentences, man. Oh. Oh, Mr. Fumbles is gonna tell me about structure and sentences. Oh, you doing the argument now? <laughs> if we talk about a subject, <laughs> he's doing the, he's doing the. Oh, 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 oh you talking about me? <laughs> what about the time I took you to the gas station and you wanted some chips? <laughs> but you want to talk about sense and structure? Huh? You want to put the, the subject in the predicate in the right direction? Huh? That's what we doing? And um. Man, uh, dude, Big Sean I, definitely should should have been in the combo. Flo is not cool. I mean, Big Sean, Big Sean could rap his ass off, mm -hmm. but I love the way that he doesn't give the beat a chance to breathe. He raps the entire verse. Yeah, he, he's like, did did it. Nope, I'm not taking it. They're gonna yeah. keep on going. I go like, I haven't seen that. Yeah. He's really made his own style in hip hop. I really love and hate all Big Sean's. Great verses mm -hmm. is always overshadowed. Like when he's featuring somebody, mm -hmm. like on Control, mm -hmm. that was his song. Was it his song? That was his song. You know what though? Big Sean, he delivers on features. Yes, but that song was, if you go back and listen to Control with Kendrick mm -hmm. and, and Jay, Jay Electronica, mm -hmm. Big Sean's verse is fire. Mm -hmm. Right. But the fact that Kendrick was, Shooting at everybody, uh, Aubrey, B Biggie, kick, you know, <laughs> Jay Z, I kill all y'all. Yeah, everybody's like, let's focus on Kendrick's verse. And it's like, Big Sean is like, nigga, you no, know Kendrick's a shit starter. Yes, do you remember? He did, this is not the first time he done this. It. Is Kendrick is childish. Yes, Kendrick, no one asked for this. Kendrick is out here just being like, I know no one's saying it, but fuck the big three, it's just big me. It's like, what? why do you even have to say this? Right, you're no childish. One, yeah, me, 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 very selfish. Yeah. Of Kendrick. Because he said, he did a thing like this. He was like, but I bet you won't say anything about his mama. And back to work. <laughs> <laughs> and they start arguing. He said, yeah. I said what I dance, said, and I'm backing away. Mm -hmm. And then he was, uh, Big Shot had a fire verse on uh, the, the Kanye and Jay-Z verse on, uh, what's the song called? Um, I'm talking about right. No. It's a Kanye West's album, and him. God, this is it's, it's old, popular song. No, it's on. Uh, somebody help me out in the comment section. Is it the one they did together? I yeah, think, I don't think he was on there. Yes, he opened up the song. Um, P Big Shot opened up the song, and then Jay Z went, and Kanye West closed it out. No, 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 no. Two chains. You're talking about Mercy. Lamborghini Mercy. Yo, nope, Jake, she's nope. so thirsty. Nope, nope. No. It is Big Sean. Nope. Oh, Big Sean on that song? Mm-hmm. There's another one then. That's what it sounds like if you're talking about that one. He, what, that one too? Yeah, it, it is. It's another Kanye West song. It's, it is Mercy. Big Sean had a fire verse, mm -hmm. but it's also a song with Jay-Z, Kanye, and Big Sean. Click. Oh, yeah. That Ain't nobody fucking click. with my click. 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 He, had the, he was click. in the chorus. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. He had a fire verse on there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's like people get overshadowed. <laughs> Let us keep. I'm talking. Yeah. I remember Jay Z's verse more than Big Sean. Exactly. Yeah, I'm talking. Yeah. Yeah, I'm talking. Yeah. Yeah, I'm talking. Big. Man, yo. Big Sean had a fire verse. Even on. uh Boy. <laughs> Oh, God. Um. Hey, man. He, he's not that. He's not loud. He's dumb Duncan, yo. No, but it's it's even in the sense of like you don't have that it factor that Kendrick has. Kendrick is special. Kendrick has a, a definitely thing that separates him from other people. Kendrick has that. And not everybody gets and not everybody has that. Mm. But he has that thing that you go like, I can't wait to hear what Kendrick has dropped. I can't wait to be because he literally cooks up stuff. He has themed albums. He puts a lot of time and work in. You can tell like this is just a 
It's that whatever he tries to do, he tries to make the best masterpiece, right? He's like one of those directors who comes out with a movie every 10 years. Mm -hmm. He's like, I'm trying to give you guys yeah. like, this great That's art. Cool. He's a real artist, you know? And yeah. I don't I don't get that from Big Sean or from most other rappers that's like, oh, here, oh, here's my art. Mm -hmm. Kendrick seems like he's giving you his art. Yeah. My heart and soul, I poured into this. Yeah. And it shows. Right. You know? Do you remember the song? This this, this, this is the lineup. Big Sean, mm -hmm. Drake, mm -hmm. Kendrick, mm -hmm. Kanye, mm -hmm. and one song. Mm -hmm. That was a song? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't remember, do you? Uh, it was um, something like God. It was like... Uh, No, that was that wasn't forever. No. Yeah, Kendrick was not on forever. It was yeah. uh I think Drink Little Wayne and Eminem was on forever. Yeah. Daisy. But they yeah. were all in that song. And I think it was like uh <laughs> my boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Help me out, y'all. I don't know these names of the songs. I remember the, the video, it was it was dark and it was like some some sort of stairs. Um Drake, Kendrick, Big Sean, and Kanye. Yo, cats are talented, but not everybody is special. Damn. And it's also got to have a machine behind you. I mean, even before Kendrick got dragged, um, his mix tapes were blowing up. He had a, he had, or his, even his own independent album, he had the Section 80. He had another one, I forgot what it's mm -hmm. called. But I'm like, I had already heard of Kendrick before he got with Dre. Mm -hmm. I do remember James Davis uh, pointed it out to me. Kendrick? Yeah, he was like, no, he said, man, I, I promise you, next this time next year, everybody's going to talk about Kendrick tomorrow. And I never know who he was yeah. until James Davis. I want, I want to give James Davis some love. Yeah, and then even like I prefer Big Crit over a lot of cats, and mm. I feel like Big Crit doesn't get talked about anymore. I haven't heard one of his albums. It's great. Fervent a Day is great. Catalactica, Catalactica, great, invested. great albums. Um, but yeah, man, I just think that when you when you deal with a tat, cat like Kendrick, you're just you're in a different lane mm -hmm. of artist. He's not even one of those guys you go like great MC. I go like this, is, this dude's an artist. Well, there's a lot of great MCs, but it's about that marketing and that machine behind you, man. Who's pushing you? You get a good single, yes. You get a good single, like you know Simba and La mm -hmm. Russell, great, mm -hmm. but they're not loud enough yet. Mm -hmm. They're they're great locally. Mm -hmm. You know, Jordan Lucas, another dude. Mm -hmm. He had his little buzz though, but it's like it's not loud enough. I don't know, like why nobody's not talking about him, man. It's like it, it really is a machine. But did you hear? You. Did you hear his album? Yes. But I, I don't go like this is one of the greatest albums I've ever heard. Did you hear? Yeah. Did you enjoy it? I'm sure it was cool. It's not. It's not even memorable to me. I remember Logic's first two albums more than a lot of these cats. I go like these other ones stood out more so than he's Logic, dude. He's not loud enough. I don't know what it is about Logic. Cool. He he left. Logic cooled no, off. Just talking about like no one's not. No, nope. putting him in the, the, the category retired. of, huh? So Logic retired, and then I think he came back or yeah. something. Yeah, because he is on that uh, Don't Look at album. Blessings, there we go. I got everything, I got everything. Nothing is on me. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, I think, I think there's some guys who just have that thing, bro. And mm -hmm. some other guys just don't have that thing that yeah. makes them as special. Kendrick has that thing. You know, sucks is my, you gotta kind of compare yourself like, man, Kevin Hart got it. Do I it has do that I thing? Not have that thing? It's like, <laughs> Kevin Hart has that thing. Yeah. Cat has that thing, mm -hmm. but he kind of sounds up on the foot. Yeah. I don't feel like Dave Chappelle had that thing. I don't think Dave Chappelle as a comedian was like, oh, this guy mm -hmm. was special until Chappelle's okay. Show. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, this dude is special. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. This show, the show, Chappelle show is so great. Everybody that was included on that show has Ooh, made it. For sure. Yeah. And them color was so good. Everybody on that show has sure. made it. Yeah. Let me tell you this though. Mm -hmm. Everybody on Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Is is that movie, that show is so great. Yep. Um even the girlfriend started blowing up. He was right? like, she's in six episodes. Easy beats. Yeah. You know? Um, but I do want to ask you this though. Mm -hmm. The main characters of Atlanta, mm -hmm. we're talking about Brian, Lakeith, mm -hmm. and ZZ Beats. Not, mm -hmm. not, not Donald. Not Donald. Uh -huh. But those three, did you know them before Atlanta? I saw Brian Tyree in Little Stuff. Mm -hmm. I saw him in like this HBO show, and I was like, oh, dude's getting around. Mm -hmm. I saw him in Little Stuff. Um, I didn't. I never saw <laughs> ZZ nor Lakeith. Right. Oh, I think I saw Lakeith play Snoop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
in uh, so let me ask this though uh -huh. for those three people who is the biggest star now i feel like it's probably brian tyree oh you wild why you think it's uh no man i don't think he's done as many big projects as brian tyree especially like he did um was that one movie he was, he was him and Brad Pitt? He was in that whole train. What was that one train movie? Nigga, he, did, he did a Marvel movie. He was in Eternals. Yeah, so what? What is, do you mean, so what? Is Eternal uh, in any top 10 of anybody's? It doesn't matter. Like, that's a huge movie. That's a huge movie. I think, I, I, I don't quote him. I think Lakeith might have won an Oscar. I don't think he did win an Oscar. <laughs> uh, Lakeith was the, the, the villain of. The man who killed Messiah, right? Mm -hmm. He was. He has a uh, book of. Which one do you think people saw more, Eternals or? Okay. <laughs> I mean, it was huge. Okay, let's let's, let's do this. Let's do this shit. Dude. What are we doing? You pull up. You pull up Brian's. Uh, oh, we doing my catalog here. Yeah. yeah. Changling, Chang, Changling is huge right now on 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 Apple. The book of can I, let's go, let's go back and forth, okay? And we're gonna say who's starring in that, and who is, who is? Why did you go to IMDb, man? I'm, I had to bring them up. Can you I bring them up first? Oh, I guess I do have the app, but I think I went to Wikipedia. Now right, here we go. Yeah, right. Okay. Okay. All yeah. right. Okay. Uh, here we go. Filmography. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we go. There we go. Thank you, Nubs. What? No, no. You go ahead, go ahead and throw it. We're going to go back and forth. Who is the biggest star between Lakeith Stanfield and Brian Tyree? Brian Tyree. Brian Tyree Henry. Brian Tyree Henry. BTH, as I call him. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. That homies, huh? So, uh, okay. So, what is what is his coup de grace? Who, what is his? Ooh. All right. Well, he's in Spider Verse. Okay. Okay. Yep. yep. That's the voice. Uh -huh. All right. Have you heard of a movie called? Uh... <laughs> what you laughing? For? <laughs> what you laughing for, bro? Come on, man. Hmm? Come on, man. Give he was me. the villain. He mm -hmm. was Judas of Black Messiah. When I tell you, when I tell you, when I tell you, this was Oscar buzz winning. Mm -hmm. People, a lot of people have seen it. Eyes on it. Mm -hmm. All right, what you got? Uh, Bullet Train what was the one with Brad. Okay, Pitt? Brad Pitt. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna hit you with the harder they fall. Okay, I don't think that did better than Bullet Train. Oh, you okay. know. Uh, All right. Okay, Eternals. I was on there. Eternals. Mm -hmm. Okay. Knives Out. Okay. All right. Godzilla vs King Kong. Oh. Okay. It's pretty big. How about this? Sorry to bother you. Okay. These aren't bigger than this. Than Come on, man. These, these aren't like, bigger movies than Guys on. Delivers King Let's Kong. Let's keep going then, homie. Okay. I'm trying to think of the only ones I've seen. Yeah. Right? He was in Joker. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Selma. <laughs> what you laughing for, yo? Okay, Selma. Selma's not doing better than these movies. <laughs> They're not bigger movies. But he's like small parts. I'm talking these dudes. Well, people I'm talking about. Are... Child's Play. He was in a remake of Child's Play. That's crazy. Who's watching that? That's all right. I have a whole TV show, The Changling. Okay. Oh, oh, here's an Oscar movie. If Bill Street could talk. Mm. Which I didn't see. So I'm assuming it was good. I don't, I don't know this show, Class of 09. I don't know what that is. Yeah. It's on Hulu. How about uh, anybody heard of that? Haunted one? Mansion. What? Huh? The remake, Haunted Mansion. Haunted Mansion. Yeah, oh, that is. This he was is, the main character. This is where you start getting to a point where they were like, "No, oh, man, no, I'm still hitting." This with... is where I first saw them. Vice principals was the first I'm, thing on the episode. I'm still them. hitting you with some heat, yo. No, you're not. What'd you just say? I'm still hitting you with heat. <laughs> what did you just say? Oh, white boy Rick, the photographer. <laughs> we're not hitting with the heat anymore. I am. Yeah, this is the, this, he's on the cover. What what movie was this? This what was Issa Rae. What what? Uncut gems, this. bro. Come on. Uncut gems is big. Fire. Hotel Artemis. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good movie. Come on, man. Tons of guest stars and stuff. Mm -hmm. Death Note. 
Okay. It the was remake? Ill. Yeah. Man, no one saw that. Yeah, the rest of these are before he got big. These are mm-hmm. the rest of these are mm-hmm. guest spots. Mm-hmm. Good resume though. This is us, Vice Principal. How to get away with murder. Hello, man. Dude, he was the nigga on Get Out. I'm sorry. I should have opened up with that. He <laughs> was the nigga with the bloody nose. You should have opened up with that. He out. was the nigga with the bloody nose. That's the first time I saw. Yeah. I think, right? Mm-hmm. Or, or was he on um or was he on uh Atlanta already? I gotta look at that. Uh, he was Snoop on straight out of Compton. Yeah, when I said he was on dope. <laughs> I'm still hitting you with fire, nigga. He was in Purge, the Purge. Wait, wait, but now when we talk about him as Snoop, that's the smallest role. Oh, that should sound good, cuz. And that was it. And it, it wasn't even there. It was voice over by Snoop. Yeah, but they went back and gave him his actual voice. <laughs> I don't know. I think David Tyree got bigger. Brian Tyree got bigger moves. Wow. He's about to be in a new guy's deliverers, King Kong. He's a regular on Big Mouth. About to do the new Spider Man movie. Come on, man. Bullet Train Eternals. Eternals is a big Marvel movie, bro. War Machine. It's not a big Marvel movie. I promise you it's right next to Thor 2. <laughs> no one's not talking about, hey, we got to watch Eternals again. Bro. It's not like it bombed like, uh, what was what was the one with the um, Captain, the Marvels? It wasn't like that. Marvel's still better than that movie, man. Than Eternals? Yes. No, it wasn't. Marvel's was awful. Marvel's? Was awful? awful? Yeah, I didn't like Eternals either. But Marvels was awful. What is your top three worst Marvel movies? Oh, boy. You better not say Marvel, nigga. The, hold on. The Marvels is up there, but hold on. Oh, because Thor 3 is up there. Thor 3? Yeah. Or Thor 4? Well, the 4 is up there also. Those are they're both bad. They're both Rag, bad. Ragnarok is bad. Nigga, you tripping. Wait, which one was 2? Thor 2 was trash. Which one was the elves? Thor 2. Oh, okay. Okay. Thor 2 is garbage. <laughs> but so is... uh. Um, I put She Hulk in there. <laughs> it's ass. He's just doing this for, for uh, clickbait. What was the other one? Um, oh, I was going Marvels. There was another one that was like horrible. Worst Marvel movies. Uh, 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 dang, what am I thinking? We're not crossing over to Captain America, America One. Yeah, it's not good. Dumpster juice. Iron Man Two and Three. See, Iron Man Three was awful. Um. What was, what was another bad one? The other Hulk movie. <laughs> the first one. Yeah. If that counts. With, I don't know. With, with Bannon? Yeah. Or Banna? Yeah. Garbage. Uh, These are the top eight worst people are saying. Do you agree with one of those? I still couldn't even finish Quantumania. It was so bad. The Ant Man 2, 3? It was so it was bad. Three. The first Thor shouldn't have been. I actually there. like Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi was, was solid. I like it. Eternals, yeah. Black Widow, no, that was better than a lot of these other movies. Captain Incredible America Hulk, one. the Marvels. Tell you the Marvels is in there. That's wild. Captain America one's in there. Yeah, the first, yeah, the trash. I don't know why Thor Black Thor Widow doesn't belong in there. And yeah, Thor 4 belongs in there. Shit. Captain Man. Yeah. Those, those, the Captain Marvel and the Marvels. Ugh. Terrible movies. Damn. Dude. Captain and Marvel they was are, garbage. They already built a team and everything. And Sam Jackson tried his best to save that movie. That movie was awful. It was not awful, man. It was terrible. Both of them were terrible. Did you watch it in theaters or did you watch it uh, on Disney Plus? We watched it on Disney Plus. See, because you got time to do other things. You, you go like, man, what is this? Me and Yo were watching just like, yo, is this almost over? I think we went to something else and came back. Is this shit still on? Oh my God, this was awful. The only person who was good was the little Indian girl. She was the only one with any kind of charisma. Hey, I'm sorry, dog. That one's up there with She Hulk. What's the other garbage one you like? Black Widow. You know what? You, you know what pissed me off? It felt like it ran out of money. I <laughs> really, really was enjoying Secret Invasion. Uh, I was really enjoying it. It just took a turn in the end. It, it just. He's like, oh, now we're we're trying to what? It was like a pill or some kind of shot to give you everybody's power. And it so was when, like, when they was like, we're gonna make a super scroll. When like, I, I literally I literally said, this is bigger than MC. <laughs> when they was like, we've been here secretly, yeah, for the past. Like, dude, do you realize that we can't even survive as humans? You want to kind of blend in with us? 
And I was like, oh my God. And he, he kind of had like little parts here and there. Like, this is what happened right after, you know, Age of Ultron. This is what happened right here after this. And he's like, yeah, we've been secretly bringing in. I was like, oh my God, this is bad. We don't know who is a scroll. When we yeah. stopped right there, I said, this is terrifying. <laughs> because they've been, it's not just six of them. Right. It's like, oh. There's a whole planet. Right. right. Now I was like, this is terrifying. Uh, if they just kept it open ending, as in like, we don't know who <laughs> is a scroll, they that would have been top. They were just too, they're too far deep into their phases now. And it's time to, this is what happens with comic books. They just do like, that was the golden era. Here's a new era. We just start over. It's time to start over and just be like, like you can't, you can't start recasting cats yet. Like you can't get a new Iron Man yet. You can't do these other things yet. But I'm like, you guys are, they're out of good ideas. Deadpool has to shake some shit up. Uh, is, in, is he like, going back officially in the MCU and the X-Men? I kind of, because have you seen the trailer yet? Or uh, do you watch trailers? I do not watch trailers. Okay. I'm not say it yeah. But it's time to be like, hey guys, we just need to go new ideas. We're going to bring back the Fantastic Four again. Yeah. Not excited. Uh, what, what else are they doing? Yeah, I don't Blade. Know. Oh, yeah, I don't think they've been doing that anymore. Are they? Then they fall off. No, they were going to show it. What that they were doing it, they were uh, supposed to be doing it, and then like yeah. it fell apart or something like that. With uh, what's that dude's name? Mahershala uh, Mah Ali. Mahershala. I want to see him and Idris Elba do a movie together mm. and just be two dark skin cats. And they go, mm. like, This light budget is crazy, <laughs> we can't. So light all these dark cats. As a cinematographer, director, and videographer, mm -hmm. I can tell you this: the reason why they don't do dark skinned people with white people is because <laughs> of the lighting. <laughs> it is so hard to to light two different skin yeah, tones. But like, hey man, this is she's reflecting. Yeah. You're too dark. Yeah, or height. Mm -hmm. So if Tom Cruise and right. Tom Cruise, the reason why Tom Cruise is killing is because he's the height of a lot of women. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so you know, when you are six four and your love interest is five five, <laughs> your camera shot's got to be super wide because right. you can't capture the two of y'all together right. in the same shot unless y'all sitting down. Mm -hmm. So this is why a lot of things got to get factored in when it comes to chemistry tests and height and tone. Mm -hmm. So this is why a lot of when it comes to movies, they get a lot of mixed race right. actors. Easy to light. Yeah, <laughs> I can light you with. Shout you know, out to Jordan Peele. Jordan Peele grabs the darkest. People he can find. Yeah, that's easy work though. And we'll light them up. Because they're, they're the same tone. Yeah. But he goes like, no, not dark enough. Yeah. It's the darkest I can find. Right, right. All his movies are yeah. the darkest people in Hollywood. Yeah. He's done a great job of, of doing that. For sure. And showing them that they're lightable. Lightable? Mm -hmm. Lightable. That's a word. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to think when you, they were in that house on a Get Out. Not Get Out. What was the other movie? The weird one. Uh, Us? Us, they had those white women who, yeah. No, I'm trying to think, were they all in there together? Yeah, no, so you can, it's possible, right? It's possible to like two different skin, skin right, tones, right, right? But it just, it just like if we're in, whoa, the same turn shot, that down, <laughs> just in the same shot. That girl see is a she's, light she's frying, she's like, I'm cooking over there. They will light, so they will light for the white people and then put a second light put above a spotlight on her, right? Light. Right. He's your own like they got the Batman light on them. <laughs> yeah, figure out a way to light that one. Cause but it's just like your gaffer is like, nigga, why would you cast a black and white <laughs> versus movie? This is the worst. Yeah. You ever seen uh someone's coming to dinner? Guess who's coming to dinner? The original? Yeah, Man. with City 48. <laughs> Black ass, black as that nigga was just a shadow. It was like, who lit this? Yeah, yeah. They they try to keep him in the beam of light. <laughs> Can you step over here? Do all your scenes. All your scenes. Do we get the outside scenes? We got doing right yeah. now. Yeah, back in the day, they was like, we got we don't know how to figure this out. We got one big bulb on top. Hey, how about you do all your scenes over here, and we do all your scenes over here? We're gonna have to do different lights. Holly was like, we're not racist. We're not colorist. It's segregated. you guys have no idea how hard it is to touch your black asses. Okay. Oh boy! So two guns only work because Denzel and Mark Mark Wahlberg were lighting up on screen. No, as I mean, at this at in this day and age, you can light two different people. Two it guns just, was it a just, bad. It's just a, an additional that was a bad movie, guys. Well, two guns. Yeah, it's not memorable. I don't. I don't. I, don't, I, I would tell you this. 
a, a bad movie. I can't say a bad movie. I will I will put that movie over the little things. And they had all, all Oscar things. award winning actors. Things. Denzel, Jared Leto, and uh Rami. Rami Mountain. Yeah. I the guy, the guy who played uh Freddie in Queen. Yeah. Uh you know that movie? No. Very forgettable. Uh-uh. It was a thriller. Never heard of the it. The little things. I was like, nigga, how all these Oscar award winning actors are They'd be great movie? acting trash movie. Movie. <laughs> trash. It was like a missing girl or something, and they were interrogating, and they were just it was just two cops trying to, you know, bite each other's head off. Let's see, it's a waste of Paula Patton. <laughs> was she in there? She was in the, I remember what was it was it she was in that one movie with the Denzel. Yeah, deja vu. Deja vu was it? Was deja vu? Maybe. Yeah. She was the one who was uh she was dead. Right? I don't remember. Yeah. Or was it Killing Time? Oh, Out of Time. Out of Time. That's what I'm thinking it was. Out of Time. Yeah. I wish that's not the same movie. You had more time. I wish they did that movie again, mm-hmm. the sequel that or a prequel. Oh, well. You could do a prequel. Well, he doesn't look like I don't feel like he looks like his dad, John David Washington. Mm-hmm. If he looked more like his dad, you could go do all the prequels within the. Yeah, that'd be dope. What movie are you talking about? Uh, Man on Fire. Oh. Because I was like, yo, he's got a whole life before he got here. Yeah. I want to see what he's up to, bro. Or they could do a thing where Man on Fire was the dude from, he, Creasy changed his name and now he's the Equalizer. You know what I'm saying? A, see, a prequel to the Equalizer? No, he was like John Creasy, right? Mm-hmm. But then like he he fakes his death. Now he's the Equalizer. They should do that. They should just make that up. I don't know what you're talking about. Man, I, never, I don't remember how Man on Fire ended. Dude. That's arguably one of Denzel's best movies. Right, right. I, I remember. You never little, seen I, it. I, rem- I remember the little white girl, right? <laughs> yeah. I, I now remember uh, Scott in, Ridley. Scott Ridley. In the Ridley. end, Ridley. in the end, he changed trades his life for the little girl's life, and he meets the guys who kidnapped her. Mm-hmm. And he walks over to their car, but he has a mortal wound already, so we assume that he just died. Mm-hmm. But they let the little girl run to her mom, mm-hmm. and that's how the movie ends. We don't really know if he ever died. Right, right. right. I, I love those four sequels. If that movie had like tripled his budget, they'd be like, "We gotta bring it back. We gotta, we gotta." Win. I think it did well. Yeah, but you know, like, remember how uh, Extraction ended? Mm-hmm. That it's nigga got depends on how it does. Shot up, shot up, and tossed over the and ocean. That movie starts off right where it left off at. That's what's crazy. He's like, "We go right back into it." <laughs> I was like, "Are you just you saw the bridge? You just..." Right. They found him in some cabin. Somebody yeah. took him and got him back to hell. Yeah, yeah. Extraction two wasn't good. It was it a lot of action though. Yeah, it, I mean, they, you know, you got to kind of top it up. What's like raid one? What was two. Idris even doing there? He was yeah. in that movie for nothing. Yeah, actually, I think they set up. A, I love raid two though. Yeah, better than the first one. There were better fight scenes. It's not a better story, mm-hmm. but there were better. There was like so gotta, many different fights. Gotta scenes. get the people they want, man. But Ray, Ray but, 2 started off slow, and then I remember yeah. once it cooks, it cooks. But, there but was also, so it was like, we got to bring a nigga back there with the, the, the... Oh, the little guy? I was like, what? He was a different character, though. I hated that. Because he, he died. Yeah, I hated but that. But they had to bring him back. Yeah, it was like, people love you, bro. You yeah. love you, dog. He's great. I be following him on IG. <laughs> That's funny, dude. Um, Extraction 2 was Great Night After the First one. It was a what? Great Night After the First one. I can't read these. Nubs is going crazy in this comment. That's only him. Yeah, we're about to We out of here, Nubs man. Nubs like a spammer. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for watching the episode of Lacroix Chess. No, no, no. Check, please. Hey, do you mind if I give them some more? Yes, please. A lot of laughs we cooking up in this podcast. Next <laughs> <laughs> is high key to live stream. We want some positive conversations, except we tend to get darker than Elmo's and Wesley. The soda popper like Coca Cola and Pepsi. Mr. Chaz Rogers, Big Ready from Lansing. I'm like toast. ENT, I guess we paying for the bill, so give us another check, check please. please. I definitely should have drunk some water. Mm-hmm. That was dry as hell. You know, it's funny. I be trying to say it slower. Uh-huh. You like, this nigga gonna speed it up on me. I said, I was like, do you mind if I give him some more? I'm like, nigga. It's, it's funny. I don't know if you know that sometimes I'll slow it down while you're rapping, or sometimes I'll speed it up just to see how you handle it. <laughs> I was like, slow it down, man. It's very funny. All right, y'all. Thanks for it. Man, where you come? Come on, come on, come on in. I uh, appreciate you guys for watching, man. Thank you guys for hanging in there. And uh, if you're on the live, appreciate y'all. Y'all hung in for three hours. Three hours of love. Thank y'all. 
Uh, if you're watching on my channel, thank you. If you're watching live, you're watching lactose in your teeth. Yeah. Any, anything you got? I got a lot of stuff talking to you off the camera. Though. Oh, yeah. Well, so goodbye. Close it. <laughs> yeah. Thank y'all so much. Appreciate y'all. Toodaloo. Peace. Who? Hey, I I can't. I gotta I gotta spill this beans, y'all. You're hilarious. <laughs> my muscles hurt. I'm hungry. Did you did you hang up on them? my period. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, y'all. Peace out. You still rolling? Oh.